Welcome to week number 10. This is day number one, the ultimate RV show national tour. I'm Sean Parr. I've got us, the Remingtons, of course, the Jurgies. And guys, this is the final weekend of our net. We've been across the country so in every is state. Back together, we've done 10,000 miles on the road. We're here and we're ready. We you survived know a winter vortex. We I did. We, we, we drove through the winter <laughs> vortex. We've met some amazing people along the way. And we saw so many amazing camping worlds. And the good news is mm -hmm. we traveled the nation. There's over 170 camping world Gander RV and outdoor locations, which means wherever you're going, there's a camping world near you, right? We literally passed at least three camping worlds on each route. Every single time. Yep, there's absolutely. Big flag. There's the flag. There's like, the camping world. Here tonight? Yeah, <laughs> and we have so many things going on this weekend as well. It's your final chance to register to win, and we're not giving away just any RV. We're giving away a motorhome this weekend. A motorhome, guys. You got to text URVS to 46642 to be eligible to win that motorhome. Last week. Oh. Last week. Time well, to do it. We've had so many incredible moments, too, uh, along the road with the kids. We're going to be doing RVing for kids, as a matter of fact, coming up. Yep, we got that whole segment coming up. You know what? It's been great. They have a new godfather. Ah. You know? It's been just, who would have thought? I have adopted their children. I have one on the way. I mean, they have one on the way, but yeah, I, you know. You anyway, we are looking forward to this so much. We can't even tell you how excited we are to be here. But also, it's kind of melancholy because it's a good thing, bad thing. We, we're sad that it's coming to an end. So sad. Yeah, but you know what? Your chance to save big. This is your last opportunity. Mm -hmm. Don't forget, again, text RV if you have any questions at all, because we're going to start with some big bunkhouse trailers, and Ian has got a very special one that you need to see right now. Week 10 of the Ultimate RV Show National Tour. Oh, my goodness. How did we get here? You know, it's uh, it's been so much fun up until now. We are at week 10. I am super excited, folks. It is gorgeous outside. Uh, you know, we're currently in Arizona, and if you, you start to wonder, like, why does everyone go down south? You know, we have these snowbirds. I'm from Michigan. So many people go to Arizona, and I start to wonder why. And now I completely understand. It's, you know, 70, 80 degrees out this week. It's absolutely beautiful. It's going to be an awesome week, and this is an excellent start. Sean, Chris, thank you guys so much for going through this with us. And, folks, here we have it. We are starting on big, beautiful bunk models. And I'm super excited about this one because this is the first destination trailer I get to cover. This is the 2021 Forest River Cedar Creek Cottage 40 CDL. And that D is important because they made a little bit of change from the 40 CL they had last year. And I'll go over that when we get to it. But folks, if you're looking for something, you know, that is big, right? Something you want to basically park and have like a, a park model or destination model. That's exactly what this is. If you have a seasonal lot and you have a lot of people that you want to be able to sleep, this is a great one for perfect for a family. We'll go through it right now. Just so you know, this one comes in about 40 and a half foot. So it's not uh, super small. You know, right around that 12,000 to 12.5 to uh, weight range as far as drive, so a little bit heavier than that. So just know that if you do plan on moving it, you may have to have a bigger vehicle. But the cool thing, too, is if you have it, you know, let's say you have it as a destination trailer. You have it parked there, a seasonal lot. You want it moved. You don't have the vehicle. There are transport services that will transport it to another place for you if you so choose. Now... Let's jump right into it, folks. Let's take a look at what we have. The cool thing about this floor plan is it is a front living. And what I mean by that is right here is the front. And if you have, if you are one of the lucky ones that you have that season a lot and you have a gorgeous view out the front, Folks, you cannot beat this. I've seen it before. My in-laws have a seasonal, and uh, someone right across the way from them has a beautiful view of the river. It's up high. They have this gorgeous shot out this front window. I mean, you just get this stunning view, and there are so many windows letting in a ton of natural light. You have both day and night shades on there, so you can drop those down. Big sofa right here. This is a trifold sleeper, too, folks. You'll see we have uh, you know space to sleep. Plenty of people in here. I mean, you can comfortably sleep six, no problem problem at all um, and you know part of that is because this one does fold out right here and the thing I love about this layout this uh, layout again is not only do you have the beautiful view but everyone's sitting right here everyone's you know sitting down talking you know I, I don't know about you folks that are watching at home but you know maybe you have friends at the campground or maybe you know you're new to, to RV you're new to the lifestyle this is great because that way when you start to meet people, they walk in, it's like coming into a home. You know, you have the tall ceilings in here. Kevin, show them how high those ceilings are. I mean, take a look at that. You have huge ceilings, nice big slides. 
You can see the, the fan right up top here. Not only do you have the ceiling fan, but you also have the power vent fan. And the great thing about this is we have three of them all in this main area. One here and two others uh, up top in the loft. I'll show you that in a little bit. LED lights, dual whisper quiet ACs, 15,000 BTU, and there's a heat pump on there as well. So, you know, as long as that temperature is above that uh, 45, 50 degree mark, right? If it just starts kind of uh, cooling down a little bit outside and you don't want to turn on your propane, not a problem you can fire up that heat pump and it will help uh, warm things up in here. Now, if it starts to dip below that, you start to get in freezing temps, that one's not gonna work for you. You wanna make sure that you run in propane, uh, but having that heat pump as an electric heat option is awesome. Big dual opposing slides in here, which is definitely what gives you all of this space. And you can see right here, folks, we have a ton of space. You have this kitchen island, gorgeous solid surface countertops in here, high rise faucet. You'll see it has kind of the dual tone, right? A little bit darker, kind of the chrome accent. We've been seeing more and more in that, uh, you know, in, in some, some recent years here. Take a look at the size of the sink, folks. This is another, another one of those things. When we're looking at RVs, look how deep this sink right, is right here. This is a huge bowl. Even the secondary bowl is big. Why is that important? Because, you know, if, if you're using this as a residence, you're using it as a cottage, as the name implies, chances are you're going to have some residential cookware. You're going to have big plates, right? Because you're not, you know, you're not moving it a ton. We sell awesome plates in, in camp cookware in our store, but it's built to be a little bit smaller, so it stores easy. The plates, a lot of times, are made out of a material that won't break when you're traveling, right? But with something like this, you're not moving it as often, so you can use those bigger plates, that bigger cookware. You're going to want a larger sink to be able to wash that in. Take a look underneath. I mean, tons of storage. You can see right down there, right? Excellent storage space. There's also, I don't know if you got it in there, Kev, but there is a central vac system in there as well. So right here. So if you if you want the central vac, may not be able to see it from the angle, but that's okay. No, it's no big deal. Just know that it's in there, folks. There is a central vac. So if you want to be able to vacuum things out nice and easy, you can do that, right? You have the hose, just boom, this whole area. You'll see the main floor right here is all of the, the linoleum, right? The only place you have carpet is in that slide out. Uh, also, take a look at this. This is an option that we have uh, included on this one. Folks, that is exactly what you think it is, a dishwasher. We talk about this being a cottage, right? So chances are you're gonna be spending a lot of time here. You want it to be a little bit more like home. I don't know about you, but I don't love spending my time washing dishes. That makes life so much easier. Entertainment system, big TV. You'll see the fireplace. Your, uh, you have your multimedia center there, HDMI input, speakers. And of course, that's right here in the main living area, directly across from theater seats. You can see right there, upgraded Allure furniture. Both of those do recline. Uh, you know, so you can kick back, be able to relax. You have those huge windows over there too. Kevin, show them how big those windows are. You want to talk about big space? Look at the size of these windows again. Day, night shades on here. Windows on the sides, those open as well. So you can get some ventilation coming through here. Beautiful freestanding table. Someone's leaving their Starbucks around. I swear this isn't mine. Uh, I've been, mine is half drank. Kevin, is that yours? Is that your Starbucks? Who's doing that? Take a sip. No, just kidding. Just kidding, guys. I'm being safe. Come on, get that out of here. Take a look across the other way. Uh, you'll see your microwave right up top. Again, storage all the way across the top here. One of the other things I love, we talk about having your dishwasher, right? Some residential applications. Look at this. You have a, a freestanding four burner cooktop, a huge oven. I mean, you can actually cook a Thanksgiving turkey in there. That's something that a lot of times you can't get in an RV. So something like this, the destination trailer, you're starting to get some more, you know, some of these residential things. Huge pantry with pull-out shelves. You can see just a ton of space in there. You have a residential refrigerator. We'll open that guy up. Take a look at all the space you have in there. Nice big drawer freezer down below. You can see the dual drawers there. Taking a look up top, you know, storage over there, storage all across here. You'll see your Wi-Fi extender. So, you know, that way, uh, you know, no matter where, you ha where you're at, you'll have uh, the, the Wi-Fi capability. You can plug Ethernet directly in here if you need to. Taking a look down below, I love this, folks. Not one, but two trash cans. There's a dedicated spot for them right there. Super easy to get to again. Solid surface, beautiful backsplash. That's something else I wanna add, very unique. It has like a stone look to it without having the weight of stone. 
can take a look as soon as you walk in. You have a spot to hang your jackets up right there. You'll also have your control panel tucked away up top. The rest of the, uh, your controls will be right over here. You have the max air fan as well as your thermostat. Um, and this one, of course, as I mentioned, is dual zone. Taking a look at the bathrooms. This is where one of the changes they made with the CDL. Your bathroom height isn't quite as high, but we'll see why when we go up there, you have an awesome lofted space. You have, you know, towel racks here, linen closet, you know, porcelain bowl there, beautiful sink over across the way. Same thing with the medicine cabinet. When I take a step in the shower at six foot, even though they lowered the ceiling, folks, I can still stand in here. You know, I can stand up, no, no problem at all. You can probably be six one, maybe even six two, still be able to stand in there. Another cool thing right across the way, you can see right here is that slide door right so makes it super easy to come in and out and again it makes it feel like home now I want to go upstairs real quick I want to show you guys this because this again is when they started making some big changes and you can see here they have handrails making it easy to get up but right over here is one of the big changes they added this loft area and the cool thing about this is it makes a perfect spot for a kid's playroom that's it that's instantly what I think of right you have a little bit lower ceilings but you have a fan up there so you're nice and cool you have nets you know you have electrical outlet for you to plug anything in if they're small kids you know obviously you're gonna want to be here to watch them because of stairs but I think of my five-year-old and she would absolutely love this it's all open so she can still see down you can still see up phenomenal and then on the other side will be the room right this is where we have our two bunks they're uh, 48 inches wide I believe by 72 inches long so a fully six foot long space to hang up your clothes again you have another vent fan up there plus you have the uh, the TV hookup if you want TV so you know you want to talk about lots of extra space that right there is it and then of course because we have the loft you have a sunken bedroom and as you take a look right in here folks king bed in the slide out so plenty of room there you'll notice right here this is a huge wardrobe so plenty of space to hang up your clothes and washer dryer prep now you can get washer dryers and options straight from the manufacturer i believe it's splendid that forest river puts in here um, if you want that straight from the manufacturer you'll also notice if you don't want washer dryer at all no problem you will have a, a hanging rack in there instead so you can use all that as wardrobe space another really cool thing i want to hit on Take a look at that, folks. You have a, a little secondary space heater in here. So, you know, not only do you have uh, the furnace so you can run heat, you have the heat pump. You also have a space heater here in the bedroom. I'm telling you, folks, this thing is absolutely phenomenal. A secondary entrance if you need to get in and out of the bedroom. And as we head outside, a couple quick things you'll notice. One of them is the upgraded steps. So you can see right there, we have the more ride step above step, super solid, which is exactly what you want. When you have something like this, you know, this is your main entrance. You know, we, we have some more standard ones in the back, but for your primary one, you want it to be nice and strong. You want the grab handle. If you take a look right up top underneath that power awning, what you'll see is this one also has camera prep there. Why is that important? Because this is gonna be more like your home. And if someone comes and starts knocking on the door, yeah, of course you have the, you know, the window so you can see, but it's also nice if if you're in your bedroom you're able to see real quick who is right there another thing you will notice is right here we have camera brackets for side mounted cameras this is a big rv folks again it's almost 41 foot long so you're driving down the road it's nice to be able to cover those blind spots also the bedroom and the door uh the bedroom door there does have a peephole for the exact same reason as security real quick i do want to head over to this other side Couple quick things. One, you will see the outside storage right there. Also with these, because they don't move, a lot of people use the space underneath as additional storage too. Last thing I wanna hit on is if you have a lot of kids in there, a lot of people, you're taking a lot of showers. Folks, that is a residential 20 gallon electric water heater. And the best part about this is you can pick this one up starting at 65, 995, which is as little as $13.20 a day. All you have to do is text the word fresh. fresh. Demand for RVs is at historic levels, which is why we are working around the clock to bring you over 80,000 factory fresh RVs. That's the largest selection of RVs in the world. Fresh from the factory to our stores, to your driveway or campsite. RVs are made by Americans for Americans. And now you can see America for less. Shop over 80,000 factory fresh RVs starting at just $5 a day. Click, call, or visit your local Camping World or Gander RV and Outdoors today. Next up in big bunk houses, folks, we have one that is just about as large. You're looking at 40 foot, but we're considerably lighter. We're right around a little over 10,100 pounds. Why is that important? Well, that first one we saw, that cottage, of course, is meant to be a destination trailer. It's meant for you to park it, and then when you want to go there, you can, right? And the great thing about that, again, is it's a very 
inexpensive way to have a cottage. I don't know about where you folks live, but I know in Michigan, lakefront just gets more and more and more expensive every year to the point for a lot of people, it's just not affordable. The great thing about having something like we just showed with that cottage is you can park it on a lot. It's going to be relatively inexpensive and you have somewhere where you can go. You can leave all your stuff in it. You just go travel there with your family, arrive, everything's already ready for you and you're good to go. Now, something like this that we're in right now, which is the 2021 uh, Highland Ridge Mesa Ridge 338 BHS. Uh, this one, again, you know, you can sleep up to seven people in here, plenty of sleeping, but the bigger thing is this one's going to be built more for towing. And we'll see that when we take a look outside. Some of those features, right, uh, really lend itself to excellent towability. Um, and, and just, again, you know, being that much lighter, being able to shave off the couple thousand pounds because we don't have, you know, the super high roof in this one. Again, still, it's six foot tall. I mean, I have more than enough room. You know, if I stand underneath the slide, you know, you can see like my head just barely hits. Nice deep slides in here too, right? I believe the, the slide's like 42 inches deep, you know? So uh, plenty of space in here still. Now, this floor plan, again, is a, a rear bunk room. It is a bath and a half floor plan, which I absolutely love. One of their cool things about it. So if you take a look right here, you'll see they really open this space up thanks to those dual opposing slides in here. And as always, that allows for a center island kitchen. Anytime you have that space in the kitchen, right, for an island, why wouldn't you put it in there? I mean, it just gives you a lot more space uh, to be able to walk around, a lot more prep space, a lot more, I say a lot more space to walk around. What I mean is a lot more space here to be able to store things in the center. And again, just a lot more uh, prep space in there. Nice undermount sink, as you should if you knew anytime you have solid surface. I mean, it's easier to clean. It looks a heck of a lot nicer. You have that deep single bowl stainless steel uh, sink. This is the high rise pull out faucet. What they, and they did something a little bit different here that I haven't seen before. If you take a look up front, this is an apron front sink. And instead of cutting out the countertop, they gave you that full countertop. Because I know some people, you know, prefer to have that. But you still get that stainless steel kind of panel right up he right here up front. So a little bit different uh, a way to show the apron in front kind of unique in my opinion i'm not sure you know how i feel about it if i love it hate it don't know i guess i'd have to uh kind of play with it but if you take a look here a couple of quick things so you have storage on the side a bank of drawers all down the center which is wonderful and one of my favorites is this right here which is your pull out space for a trash can you'll also see these guys right here and these uh are little tables that go in the theater seating i'll show you where those go a little bit later there's a peg that screws in right here and then again that just gets inserted into the um into the theater seating. But I love having a dedicated spot for a trash can there. Another thing you will notice is they went two-tone with the woodwork. You'll see right here, this is a little bit darker. Now, if we take a look across the way, you'll see it's a little bit lighter. Uh, you know, the, the slide fascias are the dark. The cabinets over here are light. So, you know, they, they kind of did a good job of blending that light and dark so that it feels open, but it doesn't feel too washed out. You'll see right there again, beautiful solid surface countertops on kind of like a little side bar area. It's lit up, uh, very pretty backsplash. I like what they've done in storage all the way across the top as you would expect. Large Norcold fridge freezer combo. Folks, you're looking at 18 cubic foot on there. And the cool thing about this is this one runs off both propane and electric. And why is that important? Well. Uh, you know, as I said, this one is built to be hauled around. So if you're going somewhere where you don't have shore power and maybe, you know, you don't have a generator or an inverter, which is, uh, for the record, if you're generator shopping, please do yourself a favor, get an inverter generator. They're so much quieter. If you go out there with a standard generator, A, you're probably going to damage some electronics inside the RV, and B, you're going to have all sorts of angry neighbors because that thing is going to be screaming when they're trying to sleep. But that aside, the cool thing about this is you can run that off propane. So if you don't have that, that shore power, that inverter generator option, you can still use your uh, refrigerator just fine. Right over to the side, of course, is your microwave. You know, kind of a nice stylish front. I like what they've done there. Dropping down, again, that beautiful backsplash electrical outlet, and you have the recessed cooktop. That, of course, folds up and in back for your backsplash, and then pretty decent size oven right over to the side. Some storage underneath. I'll open that up. Not anything super deep, but, you know, if you have, like, some sink top covers, you're looking for a spot to put them, that's a great spot for it. And then right here is a pull-out pantry. So, uh, you know, some additional storage there. Try not to waste any space. There also is an electrical outlet on the front of the island, I believe. Yes, right up here. So if you need to plug anything in, uh, you have a spot right there. So, you know, if you have like a griddle, something like that, you want to plug in, you'll be good to go. Let's take a look over to the side, your main seating area. So these are pretty unique seats. So I, I have one of uh, kind of in each orientation. So you can see right here, if it's just the two of you, you're good to go. You have some seats right there. Now, if you have guests, you'll see that the side 
folds out and now you have a little bench seat, right? So if you need to be able to seat four people here, now you can do that. You know, I can sit right here. Again, I'm over 200 pounds, no issues whatsoever. This uh, does have a leaf that folds out so that way you're not elbowing each other as you're eating, you know, getting a little extra room there too. Uh, but it's kind of a versatile seating and that way, uh, you know, you don't have the two extra seats. A lot of times you'll have like two foldable chairs and there's just not a great spot to put them. You know, a lot of times you have to put them under the bed or in your front wardrobe, taking up valuable space. This right here, uh, you know, although it, it, it may not look quite as nice, right? And you may be a little bit closer proximity when eating. So uh, maybe for you, the versatility isn't there, but I personally think it's kind of cool. Now, here's the neat thing, folks, as we go through this, if you love everything about it, let's say, you know, you're liking this, this layout, you know, you like having the dual opposing slides, the kitchen, the theater seating being across from the TV, the big bunk room, washer, dryer prep, but you, this in particular, you just can't get over. Well, we can do a couple different things for you. One, we can get you different chairs. If you just want different chairs, no problem. We can, we definitely have some in stock. We can make a match, but if there's some other things, maybe you don't like the woodwork, Folks, I'm here to tell you there are other manufacturers that make a very, very similar floor plan, and we have them available. Folks, we have over 20,000 on the ground, over 80,000 coming in, and all you need to do to be able to access those and take a look is text the word FRESH to 46642. And here's another really cool thing you can do for you, or that we can do for you. So as you're watching this, right, I'm going to go through all sorts of different things, and maybe you registered and you signed up for notifications because you want a bunkhouse, and when this came up, you're like, yes, here it is, but you're not quite seeing what you want. Well, folks, when you text that number or when you text that word fresh, that 46642, we can get a specialist to do exactly what I'm doing, walk through a unit with you, but it will be specifically what you want to see. So if you have something in mind and we're not showing it here at the show, that you still have ways to see it and it's personalized, right? They can walk you through live and you can be like, oh, can you show me that space? Can you take a tape measure and let me know how big that is? So I know, you know, if my tote can fit in there, we can do all of that for you. And again, all you have to do is text that word fresh and we will, we will help you out. We will get you started. That way you are good to go and can start living your RV dreams. Take a look right here, folks. This is that theater seating again. Both of these do recline, it lights up, it also has a uh, massage feature and it is heated, so you can kind of kick back, relax, right? A little bougie, glamping if you will. You'll see some storage right here in the center and I talked about those little tables. You'll see that those are going to insert right here on both sides. Also cup holder in the center and right across the way is that entertainment center. So if you wanna watch you know, a movie, TV, that's the place to do it. Multimedia center and some speakers and of course the fireplace, which not only looks great, but is also a space heater, helping to kind of take the chill off in this space. Let's make our way back to the bunk room and then up front real quick before we head outside. As soon as we walk in, you will see, boom, right there it is, folks, a wardrobe. That is a must for me when I'm looking at bunk models. You may be different. A lot of folks are, a lot of people, you know, they will just have um, like a duffel bag or, you know, like a, a laundry basket with folded clothes in there. Me, I like to hang my kids' clothes up and I like a, a wardrobe. So I, for me, that's one of the things that I, you know, if I'm looking for a bunk model, it needs to have. Right across the way are two of our bunks. You'll see right up top, this one folds up like so. This has a 250 pound weight capacity, couple lights, dinette right down underneath there. Across the back is TV hookup, so no matter where you're at in this bunk room, you're able to see it. And then across the way are our other two bunks. Now this one has a 300 pound weight capacity with a built-in ladder, USB ports, and an electrical outlet. And this is kind of cool. You have like a day bed right here, which I like, right? You kind of have these pillows along the back, so you have a sofa, a spot you can sit. And then if you need to you know, turn it into a bed, just take those pillows off, good to go. You'll also see right here underneath, Nice big pull-out storage, great spot for some of that extra bedding that you're gonna need for the dinette as well as the sofa. And Kevin, if you flip around real quick, boom, folks, there it is. This is our half bath. So you can see right down below, porcelain bowl. Why is that great? Well, you know, because you want your toilet to stay looking nice. And I don't know about you, but you know, my, my five-year-old probably isn't going to clean the toilet, uh, even, though, even though she's probably old enough she should. Um, but chances are it's going to be me. And so, you know, if I'm going to be cleaning it up, I want to make sure it's nice and easy. Beautiful countertops in there, you know, everything you need, mirrored medicine cabinet, vent fan. Uh, again, you know, just I love having that extra half bath for the kiddos. Let's take a quick look up front before we head outside. I just want to show you, kind of take a quick peek. I just never have enough time for these nice big units. Uh, if we take a look in here, I mean, you have linen closet. You'll see a shower right here in the corner, neo angle, countertop space, big countertop. Again, porcelain bowl right here. The great thing about this, folks, is you can pick this one up starting at $64,995, just as little as $13 a day. 
If you want to talk about a good deal for something great, that is definitely it. Now, when you take a look inside the bedroom, you can see the slide-out bed right there. Wardrobe up front, plenty of hanging storage. You have a mirror on the doors. You know, if you want to be able to, you know, check yourself out, make sure you're looking good, flex a little. No, just kidding. Um, then right over here to the side, you will see you have uh, more place for your clothes. If you want a uh, washer dryer, you have the hookup in there as well. And if you don't, no problem. Again, they give you that hanging rod. So that way you have a spot to hang up your clothes. Coming outside, nice solid steps right here. This is the more ride, or sorry, this is the LCI solid step, uh, just as the name implies, very solid. You'll notice right there's a TV hookup. Your awning is carefree of Colorado. You'll see that black covering right on top, folks. That's really cool because what that is, is that is actual UV protectant. The number one place your awning is gonna break down is right there where it connects to the RV. That UV protectant will help prevent that because again, it'll block those UV rays. One of, some of my favorite things about this one, folks, are right here on the exterior. The first one being the fact this one has auto level. That is so, so rare that one of them will have auto level. There's only a few manufacturers out there that are putting auto level on a travel trailer. And this is literally, you touch a button, folks, it will level everything out for you, making the leveling process super simple and easy. The other big thing I love is this right here. This is a true front cap. You can see this actually wraps around to the side, helping to prevent any of that water intrusion, right? Because instead of the seal being right up front here where that water is just beating in, it wraps around to the side just like this, which again, just gives you that extra protection. Folks, there's so many other features on here. You can see all the storage, the PVC roof, so you don't get chalking. So much stuff I can't cover. And again, that is why I urge you to text that word FRESH to 46642 so you can get a personalized walkthrough and get a lot more time on this bad boy than I'm able to show you right now. With the Camping World Best Price Guarantee, we'll beat any competitor price by $500 guaranteed or write you a check for $1,000. I will never lose a deal over price, ever, and I guarantee it. Learn more today at CampingWorld.com. Sooner or later, everyone's bound to encounter someone in need. If you're one of the stopping kind, chances are it was passed down. Hey, Mom. Some good that you observed from early on. Call it going the extra mile or paying it forward. We just call it being good. Spend a lifetime doing good. Thank you. Because the next generation is watching. Ooh, Ian, that Highland Ridge. Yeah. Wait, you know what was really cool about that, though? I don't know if you caught it, but the dinette with the chair, and you literally just pull it out, and it becomes a bench. Yeah, that's nice. Which it is nice, because I feel like the dinette with four chairs sometimes it's like hard to get in and out but then now you have the mobility of having Easily both. accessible right there yeah it's true that's very smart and in our toy holiday we don't have a dinette too so i'm like even more oh that's nice i still don't i <laughs> need i don't think i still walked through your rv you yet. need to i know last we're show doing it right here. we're gonna do it after this yes <laughs> oh guys we are really excited we got another giveaway yeah my and, favorite. Yeah, so stoked <laughs> for this. And remember, you are eligible still. So to qualify for these upcoming giveaways that are happening, mm -hmm. all you have to do is text URVS to 46642. And while you're watching, you can start winning. So right now we're giving away a Coleman Power Sports UT250. Okay. These things are sweet. So excited. Will one of these fit in your in yes. your toy hauler? Yeah, so if you want to meet up couple? with us, whoever wins <laughs> this. <laughs> okay, the winner is... <laughs> Congratulations. Congrats. Heather, just keep on going. You got good luck on your side today, so <laughs> keep up with whatever you're doing. I need to rub up on her. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, really excited for you to have that. And also this section is really fun, the big bunk houses, guys. We yes, got another model houses. to check out. The options are endless. Ian, take it away on this Forest River. So the first two we had are absolutely gorgeous. There's no doubt about it. I mean, you have that, uh, you know, we have the cottage, uh, you know, the Mesa Ridge we just saw, you're getting things like auto level, that beautiful outside kitchen. But let's say maybe you want something you can get out, still be able to sleep seven, you still want it nice and big, maybe not quite 40 foot though, right? Maybe that's a little bit too big. You want something a little bit more towable, maybe in the 35 to 36 foot range, maybe under 8,000 pounds dry and maybe something that's a little bit more in the budget. Well, folks, that is exactly what we have here. You're gonna be very happy. This is the 2021 Forest River Salem 32BH DSC. 
And this one comes in at 35 foot, eight inches. You're looking at dry weight of 7,993 pounds. And one of my favorite parts is that this one starts at under $40,000. Folks, you're looking at $9 and 58 cents a day for everything you see right here. And as we go through, as we go through it, I think you'll agree with me that this is an excellent deal. Uh, first off, one of the things I want to just bring up right away is how bright and open this uh, this travel trailer and this floor plan is. I mean, if you take a look, like even with a little bit of darker wood right here, you know, they have nice light wall board. You'll see they have light countertops. Your your accent wall up front is nice and bright. Your slide fascias, right? They added some brighter wood. Big windows in the slides. I mean, the whole thing, you know, the furniture, all of it just feels nice and bright, open and clean. You know, that's one of the things I like about the brighter colors. So it just feels very clean to me. And I think it did a great job here. Now, one of the places I always like to start because I always like to cook is right here in the kitchen because if it doesn't have a functional kitchen it's it might not work for me you know like absolutely I try to get outside and cook as much as I can but sometimes you know it's a rainy day and I'm stuck inside and I want to be able to cook in here and that's so I need to make sure I have prep space and you have plenty here thanks to the big l-shaped kitchen you know you have a little bit right here especially with this sink top cover because it's an undermount sink you have upgraded countertops on here why it's not a true solid surface it is still allows you to undermount the bowl and the cool thing about that the thing I really like, folks, is this right here. And, and again, you know, everyone's different. I, I draw from my personal experience. If this doesn't work for you, that's completely understandable. There's a lot of other things we can take a look at. But this is what I love is I can leave in one side, and I have all this as prep space right here. You know, nice thick countertop. It's easy to get to. I still have water access right here if I need to be able to get into the sink, right? So I love that I can do that. Now, maybe that's not working for you, and that's cool. In this RV, there's still this prep space right here, which a lot of times you don't have. And so, you know, I, I certainly enjoy that as well. And over here to the side, you know, you have enough space right there. If you want like a coffee maker or something like that, you can put it there. Big window so you can see out to your campsite, lets in some natural light. Uh, kind of that lighter gray backsplash on there too, which I enjoy. And then underneath that is your three burner cooktop that is recessed, the glass cover. You can just pull this guy back. And then you have an oven. So you want to do a little bit of bacon, there it is. You also see a couple of drawers, you know, pull out. Um, you know, I always say that you have to have at least two drawers to make it functional, right? So you need a spot for your flatware, which is what you have right here. Then underneath that is a spot for some of your bigger utensils, like, you know, serving spoons, spatulas, knives. And then over to the side is where we would store our pots and pans. Up top, of course, is where I would be putting, you know, uh, dishes, you know, glasses, cups, bowls, whatever else. Uh, apparently, you know, they decided this was a good place for your hubcaps as well as your propane line and your water line. So, you know, if you want to put that up there, you can do that too, uh, whatever floats your boat. Uh, that is frosted glass, which is nice. So, you know, helps break up the wood look a little bit. Microwave, you'll see your, your hood right there that, of course, has uh, the light on it as well as the fan so that way you can see what you're cooking and you can flip that fan on. You know, so that way uh, any smells or anything, cooking bacon, stuff like that, get it out a little bit quicker. Fully ducted AC unit right up top. Again, we talk about light, you know, nice bright ceiling on there. Helps, you know, not feel closed in. I like that. Uh, but this, this AC unit does have the quick dump option. And what I like about that is, you know, when you're loading or unloading, you know, the, the slides a lot of times will be in. And so this is the space, you know, you're kind of walking through. This will be your main space. And it gets hot, you know, especially on a hot day. But what you can do is open these up and all that cool air dumps right into here. And just as the name implies, it cools things down a little bit quicker. And uh, that's definitely a bonus for, or at least in my book. Right over to the side is our fridge-freezer combo. This unit does run off both propane and electric. So that way, you know, if you're at, uh, if you're camping, you're, you know, going somewhere, you don't have full hookup, don't have electric, no problem. You can still keep your food, food cold off the propane and then big pantry space in here as well. So you have to have a spot for all of your dry foods. Again, folks, if you're getting this camper, chances are you're probably having, you know, some people that are going to be staying with you. That's probably why you're getting the extra beds in the back. And uh, I don't know about you, but you know, my, my 15 year old son, that boy can eat, man, can he eat? And I have to bring a ton of food. So, you know, having a, a big pantry space like that is something that, it, that is important to me. Maybe it's not to you and, and that's okay, folks. Again, there's, you know, we have a ton of different, of different RVs, you know, and, and some of them are a little bit smaller. Maybe it doesn't have a pantry, but if you don't need it, that's great. We're here to help you, you know, help you be able to find that out. Let it, let us walk you through the process of how to find the perfect RV for you. And folks, all I have to do is text that word fresh to 46642. You can see right here, this tub shower, folks, I'm six foot tall with that sky, uh, skylight. I could probably be six one. I could be, you know, Chris Young's height could be six two. Man, must be nice, Chris. You can still shower in here, buddy. 
it's, uh, you know, I, it's funny. I always tell people like being tall, right? It's a huge advantage until you start checking out RV living. And sometimes you're like, oh, maybe six, eight isn't so great. <laughs> well, you can dunk on people. So yeah, it's still good. Coming right to the back here. Uh, you know, you'll see the, the toilet. You'll also see the, the sink top storage right underneath. And then right here is your, um, your door, so the secondary entrance. So if you need to come in here and use the bathroom and then head right back out, you can do that. Uh, just for the record, folks, if you are someone who's really tall, if you are like 6'8", something like that, we do have RVs that'll work for you. Uh, that cottage I showed you in the very beginning has super tall ceilings. Also, a lot of times if you get into toy haulers, right, toy haulers tend to have really big ceilings as well. So trust me, if, if you're 6'8", and you're struggling to find an RV, like this just won't work, I promise you, if you reach out to us, you text that word FRESH to 46642, we'll find something that'll work for you. Take a look right in here, folks. You can see wardrobe space. If you're able to get in there, Kevin, I know it's a little bit of a tight squeeze, but nice big uh, uh, hanging rack there for all of your clothes. You have space underneath and you kind of have options here right if you want to use this for clothes for the kids you can do that you want to use it for a linen closet you can do that too making our way back in this bunk room here you'll see this is a triple bunk so you have the uh, fold up one right over here to the side the sofa underneath that just kind of folds right out super simple and easy cool thing about that is it does make a larger bed if you have a little bit older kids or again if you're a tall family you get some bigger beds there and then you have the uh the bunk right over here across the way with the built-in ladder Big spot there for entertainment center if you want a TV hookup and then some more storage right over here to the side plus an electrical outlet right down below. As we make our way back into the main living area, one of the things I do really like, if you take a look at the flooring, you'll see it's kind of a herringbone pattern. Um, something a little bit different. I, I personally like it. You know, I know some manufacturers have used things like that on the backsplash, and then some manufacturers use it on their floor as well. I mean, Salem's not the only one, but um, I personally do like the way it looks. Now, let's talk about this because this is something that is fairly unique to, uh, to the Forest River, and that is the Versa Lounge system that we have right here. And what it is, is you have a U-shaped dinette plus a sofa. And it be, the, the reason it's a Versa Lounge is because it's versatile. <laughs> See what I did there? Play on words. Um, so what you can do is you can take this back part out. You can actually flip it around and drop it in right here. And what that does is it makes, uh, you know, an L-shaped dinette, right? Instead of a U, because it cuts it off here. But it gives you a much bigger lounging area because now you have a three-cushion sofa with a chase on the end. So you kind of get an option, you know, based upon what you're doing. If you're eating, you probably want a U-dinette, right? Plan a game at the table. Great. If you're just sitting around, hanging out, chilling, watching TV, maybe you want that extra seating space. You want that chase lounge and this gives it to you another thing that i really like and i know this is super minor but this is big to me is this storage underneath folks when you open this up look at that it comes with bins and again i know these aren't super expensive but do you know what i love about it is it makes life easy because now you don't have to go out you don't have to measure this you don't have to try to find bins only to order them on amazon and find out that they're out of stock because they're stuck on a shipping container in the middle of the ocean no you're good they're, they're already, they already come with it and it's super simple and you know sometimes for me it's the small things like that right salem didn't have to do that they didn't have to give you these but they did and and again i just love the fact that they did um you know and, and because now i they just takes that, that process, whoop, that part of the process out of it, which I love. And apparently I can't lock this up in today. All right, well, I'm just gonna leave it down for right now. I'm struggling. Um, right there though, that is of course your uh, jackknife sofa that just folds right down nice and easy. You can see you have the roller shades, which I like, right? Makes it nice and easy to uh, block the, the sun coming in there as well. This is something else I really enjoy, the, the shiplap wall board. You can see a spot for the TV. You have the nice big sound bar. This has an HDMI input as well as USB. And then the fireplace right down underneath. So, um, you know, that way, again, if you just want a little bit of extra heat, just want to use electric, you can do that. Come into the bedroom with me real quick because this is something that's really cool, something that I really like. Whoop, and that is this right here, folks. Take a look at this mattress. You want to talk about comfort? How often have you gotten an RV mattress and you're like, this is not comfortable? That's not the case here. This is an excellent mattress. You won't have to immediately go out and replace it. You have wardrobe on both sides, storage across the top, windows. And again, folks, one of the favorite things about this one is the fact that this one is starting at under $40,000. Now, if this is the RV, let's say, you know what, Ian, I, I love the fact that you'll help, you know, help us or help, you know, me walk through some different RVs. I love that we can do the virtual walkthroughs with different people and be able to ask all those questions. But I don't need any of that because this right here is the one. I love the price. I love the weight. I love the amenities. 
Folks, if this is the one for you, simply text the word RV to 46642. That will lock in your show pricing and you'll be rocking and rolling in your brand new Salem 32 BHDSC. Making our way outside. A couple different things we make our way back. So you have outside speakers here. Those are controlled by that multimedia center inside. That unit is Bluetooth capable. If you want TV, it shows you exactly where that backer is. So if you want to put a wall mount out here, you can. Otherwise, the connections are here if you want to set up a table. Outside shower on the campsite. This is rare, but something that I do like uh, just because it's a lot easier. If you're coming back from the beach, you need to wash your feet off, something like that before you head in. This lets you do it. Black tank flush makes it super easy to wash out that black tank. Secondary entrance right here gets you directly into the bathroom. So again, you know you want to come in, wash your feet off, you need to use the bathroom real quick, you can. You can see those little lights here as well, so you're able to, uh, that's lit up at night, so you're able to see. And then the outside kitchen, big fridge right there, you see storage across the top, you have uh, good countertop space, grill right over here to the side in the back. Um, you know, open this guy up, you know, a little bit of drawer space there, which is pretty cool. But I love having this right out here. Oh, and a, a propane quick connect, of course, underneath. So if you have, uh, you want to hook up that grill, if you have an, your own separate grill, you can do that too. Again, folks, this is the 2021 Forest River Salem 32 BHDSC. If this is the one for you, just text that word RV to 46642. From sunup to sundown, we are designing your next big adventure building your family vacation, delivering your memories that will last a lifetime. We know it's more than just an RV, which is why we are working around the clock to bring over 80,000 RVs fresh from the factory to our stores, to your driveway or campsite, built by Americans for Americans and starting at less than $5 per day. Click, call, or visit your local Camping World today. All right, this is one of our favorite sections because mm -hmm. it's uh, super close to home to us, RVing with kids. Very important and very fun. Yeah, something that you really should consider. If you have kids, do it while you can, which is anytime. It's such a good experience for us. We travel, I'm Bryce, this is Nelly, we mm -hmm. are the Jurgies. And if you're not following us on Instagram, go ahead and do that because we're always sharing our RV adventures on there. Life, we, life hacks with children in the road. Yeah, when our first girl was born, <laughs> Two months later, we got our first RV, renovated it, and we were on the road when she was three months, living full-time in it. Now she's three. She's back here. She might pop out. And then we have another uh, nine-month-old now. So, But, yeah, there's so many good things, guys. That, mm -hmm. With Camping World 2, they have a lot of products that make the camping experience more enjoyable, Absolutely. easier, more functional. And the thing we love about RV, RVing with kids, I'm just knocking over this whole table, Caught it. is... <sighs> I mean, we all have those memories when we were kids, right? You know, camping with dad or having a certain meal or swimming by the lake. There's always like that nostalgic, I don't know, feeling Goodness, that you, yeah. you know, you reminisce when you were a kid. So making camping or RVing like a part of their life. So whether that's getting them their own flashlights and sleeping bags or headlamps or s'more sticks or fishing poles. There's so many options to make this kind of lifestyle fun for kids where they're outside and they're truly enjoying it forever mm -hmm. it's true and the cool thing too when you get to rv parks that's always fun and exciting of what that rv park has to offer okay. most every rv park has a playground they'll have different uh, outdoor activities you can do as a family a lot of them even have like water parks and other stuff so it's a good time and and we kind of get in a routine now when we get to an rv park we're setting up camp if we get there earlier in the day then have playground time, get a setup camp, and just have a lot of fun. So a lot of campsites are pretty awesome. There's some. Of, you, I don't know if yeah. you said this. Water parks. I, I had an AV waving to the did. camera over here, <laughs> yep. but just you really outstanding. Here she is on stage. This, but yeah, let's a few products that we really love too. Like Nelly was saying, it's just fun to get the kids involved in camping. Mm -hmm. So getting things that help them to feel a part of it. Um, I like the life, the life hack stuff when you're RVing. So over here, I'm just gonna make my way across the stage. Okay. Stuff like this. So we got a foldable table here, zips up, so it keeps everything cool. And you know, if you got multiple kids or you want to separate your meals or whatever, there's different compartments right here so the kids can grab, come out, grab their lunch pail, um, or maybe this is full of apples and this is maybe full of snap peas, who knows? Mm -hmm. But nice, easy for the kids, it's down to their size, so they're not running in and out of the RV or in and out of the tent, getting dirt in and out. It's right here. They can grab it whenever they want. That's awesome. <laughs> Especially as parents. 
where you're like, take your shoes off for the like hundredth time. <laughs> then you got these pie irons. Um, these are awesome. Again, having your kids being a part of the experience. Mm -hmm. Throw cheese in there, pizza sauce, dough. Have like, them make their own. Yeah, their own little pizza right there. Or you can make an apple pie. Just really simple. Throw everything in, put it over the fire, and it's a memorable, tasty, delish treat. Tasty, delish. Ooh. All of the above. You got your s'mores. You got stuff like this where it's not only fun for the children, <laughs> but it's fun for the parents as our daughter is just jumping around on a unicorn Loving up here. it. <laughs> This is not from Camping World, but it is very fun. They do have, it, it, as you go throughout the nation too, you'll see a bunch of little things they have for kids. Yeah. Another thing, you know what? We've realized how much we've needed this. Guys, a stepping stool. Always take a stepping stool with you. Almost Always. as important as this uh, gun right here <laughs> for the memories and for order in the house. Very for important. The house. Even if your house is smaller while you're on the road, you need order. <laughs> um, but yeah, just so fun. If you have any questions about RVing, by the way, anything about the lifestyle, mm -hmm. about the rig, about the layout, just text RV to 46642. They're specialists waiting to answer any question. You can comment questions down below as well. The RV community is amazing. That's something that we found. I think it's hands down the best. It, honestly. yes, yes. Hands down the best. Even during this weird time of travel, it's been great. There's, you're outside, you're distanced, and you're still able to have this friendly environment as you go and travel and see the world. And if your neighbors have kids, I mean, all the kids just want to play together. So never worry about your kids not having friends on the road because they will have friends on the road. Always, 100%. They will. Oh, you can also, for any deals with all their stuff as well, text CAMP to 46642 if you have any questions about that and mm -hmm. want to look into there. Well, let's check out some bunk houses with Ian. I think he's got that, so let's check that out right now. Thanks, Ian. All right, folks, and here it is. We are wrapping up the big bunk houses. This is the 2021 East to West Silver Lake 31K3S. Now, folks, if you're looking for something, again, you know, it's big. Like, you know, we saw the Salem, and let's say, I like the Salem, but I want something a little bit different. You know, I want something maybe that's uh, you know, a little bit different color scheme, maybe a little bit different feature set. Well, that's what we have here. And the great thing about it is it's still at an excellent price point. I mean, this one is uh, starting at like, uh, I believe it's under $35,000. So, you know, you have an excellent price point on this one. Um, good layout too. Let's start off right over here. Let's take a look at the kitchen. Upgraded countertops on here, folks, so you can see that. You know, uh, beautiful countertops, because they are upgraded, it lets you undermount that stainless steel bowl, very modern cut to it. Kind of that high rise, you know, stainless faucet on here as well. And this is something that I like. You have a very long window. This is something that Silver Lake changed to about a year ago. Uh, and I think it's a great addition, right? Because it really gives you, you know, a view through that picture window so you can see your campsite, see what's going on out there. Plus it just lets a ton of natural light in here and makes this really bright and open, uh, especially with, again, you know, a little bit lighter colors. Now, you know, they do use darker wood, and, and that's one of those things, you know, we've, we've done polls, we've asked a lot of people, and, you know, between the lighter wood and darker wood, it, it's a good split. And so, you know, this is all about what you want. And so if you're someone that likes a little bit darker wood, maybe the Silver Lake will speak to you a little bit more than, than what we saw in the Salem, or vice versa, right? And that's great. That's okay. That's one of the great things about being, you know, the biggest RV dealer in the U.S., folks, is that we have so much inventory. We have uh, anything, you know, doesn't matter what your lifestyle, what your budget is, you know, how many people you have in your family, what your preferences are, we will be able to find an RV for you, especially with over 80,000 factory fresh RVs coming straight from the manufacturer. And folks, all you have to do is text that word fresh to 46642. Let's talk a little bit about storage here in the kitchen, because I think that's one of the things that the Silver Lake actually does pretty well, especially for this layout. You'll see, of course, you have your standard storage right up top here. But another thing I really like is that you have a bank of drawers. I mean, take a look at that, right? Right? You have a bank of three drawers. So you have a spot for not just your flatware and some of your utensils, but now you also have that third drawer. So you have a spot for you know, hand towels for the sink, for hot pads, some of those other items. So we saw that Salem had too. If you know, having that third drawer is a big deal to you, maybe this floor plan speaking to you a little bit more. Who knows? You'll also see there, you probably have enough space for a smaller trash can. Now, it definitely can't be anything huge because, you know, it is a triangle. Um, but, you know, if you have like a little, maybe small round one or something like that, or maybe there's a 
triangle shaped trash can out there? I don't know. I haven't done the research on it. Uh, but you know, you might, again, you might be able to fit a small one in there. Three burner cooktop right here that of course has an oven underneath. If you want to do a little bit of baking, uh, hood up top and a microwave. Now, you know, I, I say, of course, it has an oven, but I shouldn't say that because, folks, just so you know, there are uh, some manufacturers out there that don't have ovens. It's just storage in, in, in its place uh, because, you know, not everyone uses an oven. Again, right, it's specifically tailored to you. Now, some people will just use the oven as storage anyway, but, you know, if, if you don't use the oven, having it without an oven and having a bigger storage spot will probably be more advantageous to you. But just bear in mind that, you know, the next person who buys it, if you ever go to resell it when you upgrade, um, you know, they may want an oven, and so that may hurt the resale value, right? So there's some things you need to think about there, and again, we'll help you walk through all of that. Moving a little bit further, you get into the fridge-freezer combo. Now, this one does run off both propane and electric, and, you know, the, the great advantage of that, kind of like we talked about this whole segment, is, you know, having that propane, folks, lets you be able to use that refrigerator if you're somewhere you don't have full hookups. If you don't have shore power, if you don't have that inverter generator, you can use that. Take a look at the slide out. Big windows on here letting in a ton of natural light. I mean, look at the size of this window. I mean, we're from the base of the sofa all the way up to the top there. I mean, just lets in so much natural light. Picture windows on the side here as well. You will see... This uh, jackknife style sofa folds up and drops down. The big advantage of the jackknife, folks, is all that storage you get underneath. So if you have larger items, like I know some people like to take like guitars or ukuleles, things like that, camping with them, you have a good spot for it there. It's also a great spot for additional bedding. And then the dinette. Something else I really like about uh, the east to west is the size of the dinette. And that's something, again, a lot of people don't realize. You see a dinette and you think they're all the same size, right? Like, like a, oh, a standard dinette's one size, a U-shaped dinette's another. But that is, it couldn't be further from the truth. Uh, RV manufacturers, a lot of times, will make dinette sizes very specific to the floor plan. And this one right here, I mean, take a look. I can sit here, still have, a, you know, great space for, for my shoulders, for my elbows, everything else. And look at all this room I have. I mean, you know, it could be, my, you know, myself, my wife, and probably, you know, a, a, our five-year-old still sitting all on just one side. We'd be a little close, but if we're playing a game, you know, we're playing Clue Jr., this right here is the spot where we can do it. And, you know, we can have plenty of people sit around here. It also, when it drops down, makes a bigger bed, right? And that can be important, too. It gives you more width so that, you know, if you're a tall person, you need to curl up, or you plan on putting two adults on here, you can do that with a larger dinette. And, you know, some people... Again, you know, might write this off saying, oh, I want a U dinette. And I understand, right? Because U dinettes do serve their purpose. But if you're thinking you want a U shaped dinette because you can sit more people at it, folks, I'm here to tell you that's generally not the case. Uh, U shaped dinette, while they're wonderful because they do drop down and make large beds, that's the big advantage to it, by the way, is it makes a bigger bed than most standard dinettes. It doesn't mean you can fit any more people at it. You can usually still only fit three to four people at most U-shaped dinettes. Like anything else, there are exceptions. There are some that are very large where, yeah, you can sit, you know, five, six people at. But as we just saw, the same thing applies to a standard dinette as well. Let's take a look at the bathroom. Coming on in here, take a seat on the toilet. I always like to sit here just to kind of test it out, right? Especially when I see that the countertop isn't cut in. I'm like, uh-oh, am I going to be crushed? Am I going to be, you know, squeezed in? But as you can see, folks, I actually have plenty of space. This is, uh, you know, plenty comfortable for both my legs as well as my shoulders. I have a porcelain bowl in here, going to stay nice and clean. You know, you have a little bit of storage underneath on both sides, especially over here. So if you want to, you know, throw some reading material in there, if you have toilet paper, black tank chemical, that's all a great spot for it. Uh, you'll also see countertop with electrical outlet, um, you know, and that's one of those things. I personally like having some countertop space in my bathroom. I know, you know, for some people it may not be a big deal, but, you know, I have an electric toothbrush. I use an electric razor. You know, I take all, like a beard trimmer. Like I bring all these things with me. I need a spot to be able to charge them, you know, and I don't want to... I don't know about you folks, but I'm telling you right now, my wife would freak out if I'm charging my beard trimmer on the kitchen countertop. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just my wife, but I have a feeling that's not the case. I have a feeling a lot of people would be pretty grossed out. So uh, something like that, you know, I like having the countertop space here in the bathroom. Mirror, mirrored medicine cabinet right there. So, you know, you're able to obviously store whatever you need to, plus check yourself out, make sure the hair is looking decent. Right up top, a couple things here. One is the, uh, the vent fan. Another thing I want to point out is that this is actually... Um, 
that light is motion sensor. So if it has three settings. You can just keep it on, you can turn it off, or you can turn on the motion sensor settings. So that way, as soon as you walk in, that uh, turns on, which can be super handy at night. So you're not trying to find a light switch if you have to wake up in the middle of the night and use the bathroom. When I step into the tub, which by the way, I like having a tub in a bunk model. So if you have kids, you can still give them a bath. That's a big deal if you got little ones. Uh, but as far as height, folks, I mean, a six foot tall, you can see right here, even without that skylight, I have plenty of room here. You know, I mean, I could be 6'2", probably still stand up in here. With that skylight, I can be 6'3", 6'4", still be able to stand up in there without having to bend down. Let's take a walk back here. Real quick as I open this up, you will see some additional storage. It's a good spot right there for some of your folded clothes. Or again, if you want to use it as a linen closet, you can do that. And then we come back into the palace. I, I mean the bunk room. And the reason I say that is because you have dual opposing slides back here, folks. If you want something, we talk about big bunk houses. This right here is exactly that. This is a big bunk house. You have a ton of room. You have, not only do you have four beds, all of them being 300 pound weight capacity, which is phenomenal. You will also see that you have all this space right here on the floor. So the kids have a play area. You know, my, my younger, you know, my, my littles, they like to play on the floor a lot. And this gives them the ability to do that. So you can have, you know, all your trucks and toys and everything else right here. I can, you know, bring a dollhouse, set a dollhouse up. You have all that space back here, which is phenomenal. And along the back wall, you will see you still have plenty of storage. You have wardrobe. Let me show you this. You have wardrobes on both sides folks tons of storage in here a spot for a tv right there in the center drawers on both sides net storage down below more up top i'm telling you there is a ton of storage a ton of sleeping space you have your second ac back here so you know that the kids are going to stay nice and cool even if it's a hot day they'll be comfortable you have usb ports electric outlets this is just an absolutely phenomenal uh bunk room and again especially at that price point folks you know, if, if, again, if you're looking for something that you want some uh, high-end amenities, but you don't want to break the bank, the Silver Lake right here is a great option. If you want a TV, you know, you have a spot for it. If you don't want it, of course, you don't have to put anything there. You can, you can hang a picture here if you want, right? But if you want TV, you have the hookups, storage up top, fireplace down below, which I absolutely love. Not only because it looks great, but again, because that is a space heater, multimedia center with an HDMI port. And if we take a look in the bedroom here, let me switch you places, Kev. Go ahead and go on in there. Show everyone the bedrooms. One of the big things, I, again, I love about Silver Lakes is right there. And that is the king bed, folks. You have a king size bed in an entry level travel trailer price. I mean, all the amenities you get in here are absolutely phenomenal. You have plenty of storage in there. As we make our way outside, you'll see the upgraded steps. If you're looking at the uh, more ride step above step system right there cool thing about this is they're very solid and of course you can just flip them up and store them right inside but you know again at over 200 pounds I can hop up and down here you'll see that you know the steps don't flex folks bigger grab handle makes it easy to walk inside and out of the RV I have a power awning with an LED light strip on there so that way it lights everything up at night couple speakers you know if you want to listen to music you can do that big pass-through storage take a look at how big this opening is if you have some wider items like some of those bigger chairs you can sneak them right in there solar prep you want solar all i have to do is buy the portable panels plug it in right there and it will trickle charge your battery the front end take a look at this front end real quick you'll see it is it's not the rolled aluminum it's smooth which not only looks nicer but also it's easier to clean you have a fully enclosed insulated and heated underbelly that's a big deal too right and uh you know, the great thing about that is if it is a little bit cooler out, you don't have to worry about, you know, your things freezing up on you quite as easily because it has that forced air down below. Making our way to the very back, this is something else that I just couldn't pass up on. Again, folks, at the price point you're looking at, not only do you have an outside fridge, but it comes with an outside griddle. You have an electrical outlet. If you need to plug anything else in here, I'm telling you, uh, I love having an outside kitchen. Propane Quick Connect right down underneath. Folks, there are so many different big bunk houses we have, not only on our lots, but also coming straight from the factory. All, I, all you have to do is just text that, that word FRESH to 46642. That will get you in touch with one of our specialists and give you access to over 100,000 pieces of inventory on the lot and coming in fresh just for you. They say life is about the little things. Those moments we unplug. Packing up the camper after a long week. Making room for new memories. You and me, we meant to be in the great outdoor forever.
If you've wandered the mountains or ridden the trail, if you've discovered beauty that's left you speechless, or laughed like you haven't laughed in years, if the food tastes remarkably better and the friendship is somehow deeper, you've probably been camping. You and me were meant to be in the great outdoors forever. It's the best America has to offer, and it's meant to be shared. RVing is for everyone. The Carlton. Oh, sorry about that. We were <laughs> you know, you see, this is what it's all about. It's a family. We're mm -hmm. dancing. We're having a good time. And this is week number 10 of the Ultimate RV Show National Still Tour. can't believe it. One of my favorite segments uh, that you and uh, your wonderful husband Bryce just did was RVing with kids yep. and your beautiful daughters and having them out on the road. And thank you, by the way. You guys share us in your adventures. You share with us uh, your adventures. And how do we get a hold of you guys? Because I want to make sure that everybody knows it's watching right now. He just has to follow us, the Jurgies, J-U-R-G-Y-S. And you know what? We're actually hiding our last treasure coming up here, and it's for... It's for an RV. You know, they're giving away an RV, the treasure hunt. So make sure you follow at the Jurgies. And uh, we are talking a lot about RVs. We just came out of the bunkhouses. And Love we've them. learned a lot over the last 10 weeks. I, I have learned a lot about beginning RVing. I've been a toy hauler, toy box guy my whole life. My kids and I raced <laughs> motocross. We were having dinner the other night talking about that. And we're getting ready to go into some really beautiful toy haulers. Yes, and we love the toy haulers. We're, you know, might be a little biased because we have one. It might oh, be filled that. with a different kind of toys, but we're, we'll get there. You know? All right. One of the things I love about this Heartland Field 250 that we're going to look at, mm -hmm. when you talk about a garage that's 13 feet, 4 inches long, Sleep plus six. you got the tailgate, that is a long deck, and it is a beautiful deck. It is really beautiful. Let's yeah. check this one out. Ian, take it away, buddy. Show us this beautiful fifth wheel. Take a look. Now let's talk a little bit about some travel trailer toy haulers and some of the great things about them. And one of them is this right here, folks. You can see the party deck and take a look at what I did. I brought the table from inside out. Why? Well, because I can. Like, why wouldn't you, right? I don't have to worry if there's a picnic table at the campsite. I don't have to have a massive campsite. I have everything I need right here. I can enjoy the beautiful sunshine we have. I can set up some chairs right here. Everyone can sit right out here. We can, you know, have a meal together. We can hang out, have a few beverages. A little bit later, if I want college Ian to come back out, want to play some beer pong, I can do that right back here too. Now, granted, I can lean halfway over the table, but we all have rules, right? House rules, no leaning. Um, but the thing about this, folks, the thing I really like about it is just the fact that the deck life really is what it's all about, right? It's one of the things I love about toy haulers is you can just come right out here, you have this space, and I've seen some really great campsites where the back, right, is just like this giant drop off. And what you can do is you can have, seen people that have a party deck and they will actually put it out over that drop off. So you look down and it's like straight down. Now, may freak you out a little, but don't you worry, these bad boys right here can support like 1300 pounds. You'll be fine, you know, just don't put like, you know, 20 people out here or anything. But, um, you know, the fact that it, it can support all that weight. And again, it's just, I love having the deck. That's just one of the big parts for me that's a big, uh, big reason I love a toy hauler. Another thing is this right here, right? So you have two of these, we have one on each side. And what you, as you can see right here, you can do a couple different things. One, you can have screens. So if you want to sit inside and just kind of enjoy the breeze, you can do that. You can have the wind coming in. Let's say it starts uh, raining, right? Or it's drizzling out a little. Maybe it's a little misty. You can close this one right here down, and that will, you know, it's a, kind of like a little bit of a tint, but more importantly, it keeps any water, any moisture out. Also, inside is another one you can drop down for complete privacy so people cannot see in. So if you're sleeping back here, something like that, or you, know, you need to go in and get changed, whatever it may be, you have the ability to do that. And there's a zipper right in the center, folks. If you need to go from out of the party deck inside, you unzip it, head right back in. You also see some lights up top and backup camera prep all on this fuel. One of my favorite parts about this, folks, again, this is just the beginning of it. When we go inside, we'll see the you know, over 13-foot garage and all the, other, all the other amenities we have in here. But this one is starting at under $45,000, folks. So you want to talk about an amazing deal for what you get. This right here is definitely one of those. Now, 
as we take a step inside, right, we can see the big, beautiful garage space that you have. And here's one of the things I want people to understand. A lot of people, when they think toy hauler, right, they immediately write it off. They're like, oh, I don't have any toys, right? Like, I, I don't have motorcycles. I don't have, you know, ATVs, quads, side-by-sides, whatever else you would, you know, normally put in a toy hauler. So they write it off. They're like, this isn't for me. But here's the thing, right? There's some other big benefits to toy haulers that a lot of other RVs don't have. One of them, is, as we can see here, is a party deck. You have that deck outside, you have all that extra space. That's adding square footage, right? Usable square footage to your RV that most other styles of RVs don't have. What else do you get? Well, this one will also have a generator on board. Now, for a lot of people, I've had a lot of people ask me, you know, can I get a generator on a travel trailer? And while there are some brands that do it, more often than not, if you're looking at travel trailers, you're, you're mainly going to be looking at toy haulers for onboard generator options. Some fifth wheel manufacturers, some higher end fifth wheels, you know, you can get that uh, optioned in. But a lot of times for the travel trailers, folks, toy hauler is the way to go. Another big benefit a lot of people don't think of, take a look at how high that ceiling is. Let's say you're a tall person, and I've seen this. I've had a lot of customers, right? You know, I've, I, I am six foot, right? So uh, I, I'm kind of right at that in between. But I've had customers that are, you know, six, 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 seven. And a lot of RVs just don't have the ceiling height for them. You know, they're walking around, they have to duck everywhere, they're hitting their head on the AC. Folks, you will not have that issue in a toy hauler. And remember, this is still a travel trailer and you have all of that headspace. So for tall people, tall families, it is a great option. One of the reasons I say families, a lot of toy haulers will have extra sleeping options like this Fuel 250 does. You have these rollover sofas. This can drop down. You basically have a queen bed right back here. Right up above that is another one. So you can easily sleep, you know, an adult on each or if it's couples, you know, you can sleep four people back here. So you can sleep six in this RV under 28 foot. You know, it's about 6,700 pounds dry. Have that huge ceiling height. You have AC, you have heat. You have another big one is all the space for all of your stuff, right? I mean, you can take a look here and see how much room you have, how open this floor plan is. And if you take a look around, you will see we don't have any slides in here. And we so all of this is great usable space. You can put, you know, your big coolers, your chairs, bikes, everything else that normally won't fit, you can put in here. You can use those tie downs. You can strap it down. Folks, the great thing about toy haulers is their versatility. So I'm just, I'm letting you know right now, if you're out there, if you're just getting into RVing, and, you know, maybe you haven't considered toy haulers for, for exactly why I said, a lot of people hear a toy hauler and write it off. I'm telling you, don't. Get out there, check them out. And if you want some more help on some of the different floor plans available, right? If you want separation of space, you want a separate garage in the living area, that's available as well. And the cool thing about that is now you kind of have a bunkhouse in the back with that sleeping, that extra sleeping capacity. Folks, all I have to do to check some of that out is text that word FRESH to 46642. We'll be happy to walk you through all sorts of different toy haulers, show you the options. If it doesn't work for you, that's great. We have other uh, options available, you know, bunk houses, or if it's just the two of you, couples models, whatever else you need with over 80,000 units coming straight from the factory. I'm telling you, we will have something for you. Let's take a look at some of the, uh, the kitchen space here, right? Because that's important too. You know, that's one of the great things about toy haulers is not only do you have all the, you know, big garage space, if you will, but you also get kitchen space. You have that there. You have a TV. I love where they put this TV, you know, cause if you're sitting, if you're laying back on the bunks right here, you're sitting on the sofa, you know, you can uh, kind of swing that out and around. You're still able to see it, which is wonderful. I'll show you the chair in just a moment. You have the microwave right there. You know, open this guy up. You can take a look inside. Excuse me, plenty of space right in there, which is wonderful. Underneath is our countertop, upgraded countertop with that undermount stainless steel sink, high rise oil rub bronze faucet. You have the recessed three burner cooktop off to the side with the oven underneath if you want to do some baking. I always say you have to have at least one drawer to make a functional kitchen in an RV. This one has two. You can see it already has your built in flatware divider right there for you. Nice, another big drawer. You can see how deep that is for some of your larger items there too. And underneath the sink, you have spots for your pots and pans. Fridge freezer right over to the side. Now this one does run off both propane and electric. And the cool thing about that is if you don't have shore power and you don't want to run your generator, you can still power this off of propane. Now, if you wanna save your propane, maybe it's cold out, you wanna make sure you have enough for your heat, no problem, folks, fire up your generator and you can run this off that generator, no problem at all. Taking a look right up front, this will be your main control panel here. I also like this, it's kind of a spot to, to charge your cell phone, right? So what you can do, take USB port, plug it right in there, can put my phone there, now my phone is charging. This is the control for that rear bunk system. That one is powered, 
right, right back here. I, I want to show you something. So a couple of quick things with this operation. If you want this bed to stay up top and you just want these sofas to come down so you have sofas, you can do that. And the primary purpose of the table is to put them in between the sofas. But I just wanted to show you kind of the versatility, right? The fact that you can take that out on that back porch. If you want to take it out the door and put it out at your campsite, you can do that too. You'll see great storage all the way across here, plus an excellent JBL sound system. You can see the big subwoofer right there, that, uh, that entertainment center, several different zones in here as well. So all that will be powered there. If you take a look at the floor, you'll notice a couple things. One of them is the chair itself. It's a Euro style recliner, very comfortable to sit in. And because it is a recliner, obviously you can pop your feet up. You will also see the, uh, the carpet that comes with it. So if you want to you know, make this a little more residential, right? You want to cover up the D-rings once you get to your destination, you can do that. Just roll that carpet out and you have all that carpet right here. The cool thing about this though is it is nice and easy to clean whether you use the carpet or not. They're both very easy to clean. You have the D-rings in there, nice heavy duty D-rings. If you do have toys, you'll have the vents. You'll have one up here, another one down in the back. That way you can vent out any exhaust. The bathroom, let's take a look in here. Again, folks, I talk about tall people. One of the big issues in RVs you oftentimes have, uh, that tall people have problems with in RVs is in the shower. But take a look at this. Uh, I'm sorry, I could be seven foot five and still be able to shower in here, right? I mean, you can be huge and you have all that headspace, no issues whatsoever. So that, again, is a big benefit to a toy hauler. You'll see the sink top right here, storage underneath the toilet right over there to the side. And if we make our way into the bedroom, what you'll notice is the fact that you have a king size bed up here, folks. That we're not elbowing each other. Nice big bed. You have storage on both sides. You can see that right there. Place to hang up your clothes. Storage across the top. Couple lights. If you want a TV, there is a spot to uh, mount the TV right here on this wall. So uh, that's where you'll mount it at. Connections for that, of course, are right up top. And this is only some of the features, right? This is the inside. When we take a look outside, there's a lot of outside features on a toy hauler. One of them that I really want to point out right away will be this one right here. This little sticker shows that this one is used with Asdell construction. What is that? Well, most manufacturers behind this fiberglass exterior, right, will use what is called Luon, which is a wood substrate. The issue with Luon is if it gets wet, right, what'll happen is it'll start to actually separate, you right? know, it's, it's essentially a plywood and that will start to separate and then you will start to get bubbles. If you ever seen uh, these laminated RVs where they have bubbles in them, that's called delamination and that's what that's from. It's that substrate in the back getting wet. But with Asdel, it doesn't absorb moisture. So it almost completely eliminates the chance for any delamination to happen, which is a huge benefit. Now, a couple other benefits to Asdel. One is the fact that it's a green material, so you won't have any off-gassing, and it's lighter weight. When we're talking about toy haulers, you know, if you have toys, you're going to be putting a lot in there. You want to make sure you're as light as possible, so that way you can carry as much stuff as possible. And at 6,700 pounds, you can tell that Asdel definitely uh, is a big benefit in this RV. If you want a TV outside, folks, you have the capability to do it right there. That's exactly where it'll mount. It'll hook up, of course, right underneath. You can see the aluminum alloy wheels on there. Absolutely gorgeous. This one does have power stabilizer jacks on it too. That's going to be located right here. So simply flip the rocker switch. Those will drop down. Now bear in mind, it's not auto level, right? You want to make sure the RV is still level, but that will stabilize the RV so it's not rocking around as you're moving around in it. Big power awning on there too, folks. So all you have to do is just touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to go right back in. And if we take a look at the back, as I mentioned, you know, you can see the, the two screens right there. So you can enter the beautiful party deck right here. Super simple to set up, by the way. It's just pulling a couple pins. You know, I can pull the two pins over to the side. This uh, folds right up. Pull the top pins on both corners. It folds down. Same thing on the other side. It folds down. Boom. You can have this thing set up and tore down in less than a minute. Making our way up front a little bit further. The ladder, this does have a fully walkable roof. So to get up there, you just fold the ladder right down like so. Fuel fill station, if you do have toys, that is a huge benefit for you. Your water connections will be located here. Also black tank flush, which is a big deal to wash out that black tank. And the last couple things I wanna point out, one is the fact you have solar prep right up here if you want portable solar panels. And as I mentioned, the Cummins zone in 4,000 watt generator to power everything inside. Folks, toy haulers have so many different uses. This is the 2021 Heartland Fuel 250. If this one's for you, text the word RV to 46642. Heartland has RVs to help everyone launch their life's journeys. All new designs and floor plans provide choices for every type of camper. Whether you're a solo RVer, a family, a retiree, or something in between, 
Come find your perfect model. Because buying a Heartland should feel like you're joining our family. So let's hit the road and enjoy life's great adventures together. Ultimate RV Show National Tour. What's up? It's Chris Young sitting here at my friends, us, the Remingtons. You know what? We have had so much fun over the last nine, now ten weeks here at the Ultimate RV Show. So much fun. So much fun. I was going to say, I can even tell by the hair how relaxed it is now. <laughs> <laughs> it has just been, it, it's been an eye-opening experience, and so many people have been asking questions and wanted to know how, what, when, where, and why. So let's, set, let's do a little campfire chat Q&A with the Remingtons. This campfire. is great. You guys down for this? We yeah. have the Arizona weather right. as our fire right now. And oh. if you can, too, please always follow us on all the social media platforms. We have yes. fantastic information. We're always giving stuff away. And I got one from Julie on Facebook. She Julie. said, my husband and I really want to get a Class C, but we're scared to drive it through the city. What advice do you have? Honey. Oh, that's a good question. Um, some advice. One, give yourself a good co-pilot. In the city... Oh, I was, I was going to see if he was going to leave me out on this. Yeah, I, was, I was waiting. I was like, what? No, no. Because you're, you're so focused on driving. The lanes are narrow. You're a big rig. You probably got six inches to a foot on each side of the rig. So it's crucial that you're not really focusing on, hey, turn left, turn right. Get someone to do that for you. So a co-pilot's crucial. Okay. And number two... People are more scared of you than you are of them. So, like, they see the big, good, good yeah. mobile coming. They're going to kind of e ease off to the right. left side of their lane right. if I'm coming through. So everyone kind of gives you a little more space. So it's not as tight as you think. Right. Oh, and also bridges. We know the height of your RV. I think that mm. was, we definitely, we were in Chicago and we're like, uh-oh, that's, that's 10 feet, 5 inches. And yeah, we're like, no, it was 11 feet. We're like, oh, Going it was 11 feet. And we're like, passes. oh. And we literally, and there was nowhere to turn around. Normally, like, you can pull out or do a U-turn or, like, right. do something. No, the, you're a pot The only committed. option was go straight. There was cars left and right, and we're like, I'm like, let me pop out real quick. Yeah, she just jumped out, and it was like, yeah, three inches on top. She's like, don't hit a bump. That's yeah. the last thing you yeah. want's a convertible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or to lose your AC yeah. unit. Yeah. It's a nice buzz cut. Yeah, That's yeah. What it kind of decreases it. the value there for the trade in. <laughs> All right, so Sarah from Instagram wanted to know, how Insta. many miles was your total trip? Ten? Right, yeah, we clocked in. We're As soon as we get home, it'll be 10,000. Wow. I yeah. know. That's crazy. Wow. So yeah. how many miles would it be from when you get home to... North Carolina, where I live, so I can smoke you guys some brisket. Oh, that's what true. I think we're like 2,200, maybe. Going to add a couple ten more. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <A> couple <laughs> 10,000 miles over 10 weeks. Yeah. 10,000, yeah. 1,000 miles a week. How much. was that? It was actually not too bad. Pretty relaxing. Well, I'm, okay, I was a co-pilot. Let's be realistic <laughs> right, here. Right. So I was chilling. I don't know about Caleb. There it was, was a dream come true for me. I love hitting the open road. I got my bag of seeds. I got the right. some coffee. I podcast. got a good podcast. Headphones, on, headphones yeah. on. I'm loving life. The scenery. Some parts a little boring, but you know what? There's way more good than there is bad. And being in the mountains and seeing some of these national parks, it's right. just a dream come true for yeah. us. And that actually leads me to my next question from Jennifer on Twitter. She said, I'm pregnant, but I still really want an RV. <laughs> Jennifer, first Tiffany's, of all, Yeah, she wants to know, are you still going to full-time when you have the baby or maybe oh. just travel on weekends? Oh, you question. know what? We are no longer planners because of the RV life. We've That's learned true. to just go with the flow. Love so it. we definitely... I guess when time comes, we'll either see. I'm definitely not opposed to full timing. No, not at all. But most likely, well, who knows? I feel like there's a, a few months before we have the baby where we got to nest a little. You got to. But right. you can even this, nest in the RV. That's true. Yeah. I think true. we were helping moving my mom in last week, and it's just a smaller townhouse. I was already getting so much anxiety of just, we're like, oh my God, we have to get a rug, we have to get a chair. Like, mm. you're you starting to, to collect things, right. and I realized how much we have detached from all of those things and it does make you feel like you're a little bit more permanent when you start accumulating stuff. So, right. I mean, you also realize what you don't need. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So long answer short, we're definitely still going to be having in some capacity traveling in an RV. I love it. Yeah. And Sue on Facebook, she wants to know what Sweet. was your favorite part of the ultimate RV show? Ooh, honey. 
That's I think is the uh, the good Sam give backs for me. Yeah, it's been that's so amazing. rewarding and fulfilling uh, having the opportunity to at each stop do some sort of give back for the local community. It's been incredible, and Tiffany's championed that whole yeah. front, and she's done an amazing job. Well, no, I think that's why I love you guys is for how much you've done and how much you have given back. Oh, thanks, Chris. No, I, I I definitely echo that as well. And I think the biggest thing for us is we were always scared to winter camp. Mm -hmm. So it was really nice to be able to face that fear. And it, obvious, it really was not that big of a deal. Okay. Um, just a couple more things that we had to learn away. But and we it, we did a lot more boondocking yeah. this, this time around. Mm -hmm. We didn't do that before, so right. that was fun. And uh, got to really experience the fullness of the RV and, that's and all its capabilities. Well, guys, thank you so much for spending hey. some time with just these brief questions. And thank you for sending us those questions on yes. Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter for Camping World and Gander RV and Outdoors. Ultimate RV Show National Tour is going to continue. Big Dog's got a Forest River Rogue right now. Take it away, Ian. All right, let's step into another travel trailer toy hauler. Now, folks, you'll see right away, we're going to have some differences, right? As we go down the side of this one, this one will have an aluminum exterior rather than fiberglass. It's also going to be a little bit longer. As far as weight, though, a little bit lighter. This one's going to be a little under 6,500 pounds for length. We're 30 foot, 3 inches. As we go through, you'll see the great thing about toy haulers and RVs in general, as I've mentioned, kind of, you know, from the start of today all the way through, folks, is the fact that there are so many different options out there. And this is just one of many options. A very similar floor plan. We'll definitely see some differences inside as well as some differences in amenities and difference in price. Folks, this one is starting at under $34,000, just as little as $8.14 a day. And as we go through, I think you'll agree there, again, this is uh, a great value for what you get. So, you know, 20 pound tanks up front, you have the cover there, diamond plating here. You'll also see the smooth aluminum front on the front of this one. So that way, you know, it does help a little bit more than the ribbed as far as cleaning, it's a little bit easier to clean. So you'll see here you have the roll aluminum all the way down the side. If we take a look in the pass through, a couple things I want to point out in here. One, I like this, the fact they actually put um, the, the tie downs in your front storage area. So if you have some larger items, you need to tie down there, you can. You also see there's a table in here. So if you need to, you know, use that table back on the party deck like we saw on the fuel, or if you just want to take it outside, you can. And there's a solar controller in here. This one already has a solar panel up on the roof. So uh, you want solar, you're good to go. It's already charging and good, uh, again, just ready to go. Tempered glass doors on here. These are really cool. Um, I like these for a couple different reasons. One, just being they look really neat. But another, when you open it up, you can see it when the light comes through. There's a window built in right there, right? But when the door is shut, yeah, well, the light's on so you can see inside, but otherwise you wouldn't even be able to tell. It just looks like one big black door. So uh, very cool doors. They're very strong as well. I mean, now when I say glass, people freak out. Folks, it's tempered, I'm telling you. Unless you're taking a hammer to it, you're not going to smash it. It'll be just fine. You'll see the very large power awning going all the way across here, covering basically the entire RV with some blue LED lights. In fact, it is so large, you'll see it actually has a center support. Two different sets of stairs, one into the bedroom, the other one right here into the main living area uh, slash garage. We'll take a look at that in a second uh, and why and I'll tell you explain to you why I love having this second set of stairs the main reason though super close access to the bathroom we'll see in just a minute outside speakers if you want to listen to some music as well as a TV mount is already mounted right here the connections for it will be right down underneath this one also has the underbelly armor so if you drop down here we can take a look underneath and you can see that right there you have that uh, running all the way across there so it helps keep debris and stuff road debris from uh, kicking up in there Going back a little bit further, this is something that I really like, and it's so darn uh, cheap, but for some reason I, I still just like it, and that is your little tire pressure monitors there, so that way you know that if your tires are at pressure or not. And you have a fuel station, right? So one of the things you'll notice is this one is prepped for a generator. It doesn't come with one like the fuel. Now, if you want one, you can absolutely get it from the manufacturer, but it's prepped with it, but it does come with the fuel station regardless. You have a leash latch right back here for your pet, so you, know, you don't have to worry about bringing a stake or anything. You can tie them up right there. Making our way to the back is the party deck. This one has the more ride system around the back. Um, you know, both of them are, are quick and easy to set up, right? I mean, we can see the fuel, right? It's right next door here. Uh, I personally like this more ride set up just a little bit more. I think, it, not that it's necessarily easier or quicker. Um, I just, the, the thing I like about it, I'll show you real quick, 
is this right here. The fact that it comes all the way up and goes right past this door jam. Uh, the other system we have, there's a little bit of a gap there. And I know it's not a huge deal, right? It's, it's going to be too small for any kids or anything to fall out of. But for whatever reason, mentally, I just like the fact that it is there. This one's also a little bit easier to open. All you have to do is remove this pin. You can slide it open and then you can head right on out, right? If you have some stairs there. Uh, so that, that I like about it as well. So just a couple things that I do like a little bit more about this system. But again, both of them work absolutely great. You also see on the back right there is your backup camera. Coming up a little bit further, we'll talk about the inside in just a second and I promise you you won't be disappointed. 30 amp power supply will be right there making our, so we, uh, making our way up to come up a little bit further. We have the majority of the connections. So cable and satellite will be right here. Black tank flush to uh, wash out that black tank nice and easily. Spray port outside shower with hot and cold water access. Fresh and city water there. And as you can see right here folks I mentioned this one is prepped for a generator. If you want one we can get you one. Uh, but this will help save a little bit of money. If a generator is not a big thing for you having just the prep on there will save you a little bit of money so that way you know you don't have to worry about it you know if, if again if you don't want one if you want one great we'll throw one in be able to power everything in there so that way you have power uh, you know no matter where you're at even if you don't have shore power at the campsite Let's make our way inside real quick, right? Again, there's so many great features out here, but it doesn't stop out here. And I wanna show you, you know, I'm starting right here. I mean, you have the more ride step above steps, the, the rogue symbol in there, which is pretty cool. And then as I step inside, let's move, make our way up front here. Um, so this one has a pass-through bathroom, right? You know, and maybe you love it, maybe you don't. There are, we have toy haulers with both when we're talking about travel trailers. And again, kind of like we saw in the fuel, same thing here, folks. I have tons of headroom. If you're a tall person, you'll be absolutely fine. The Neo Angle shower with the doors and the roller track, that way, you know, when the water comes down on the doors, it goes right into the shower pan. It's not like a curtain where, you know, a lot of times it's going all over the floor, a swing door, right? Sometimes the water comes off the door and all over the floor. Here, it will stay in the shower, keep things nice and clean. Big mirrored medicine cabinet, big sink. This one for me is more important in a toy hauler than a lot of other RVs simply because if you are out there riding, you know, chances are your hand's going to be pretty dirty. Maybe you broke a belt, needed to work on your quad, whatever it may be. Uh, you can come right in here, you know, be able to wash hands off super easily. And, and because it has that big sink, you're not going to have a bunch of dirt splatter all over the place. There is a toilet as well as some storage on the other side of this door here. Big linen closet. Uh, you know, I like that. It's a porcelain bowl as well. So it'll keep things nice and clean. Then if we take a look up front, bed right there in the center uh, you can see you know you have storage on both sides those are wardrobes as well as storage all the way across the top and if you do want a tv folks there is a spot to put the tv right here too but let's take a look on back right let's go back into the main living area what you'll find is we have a very fairly similar layout to what we had before right same but different is what i like to say um and starting off right away, let's flip around here, Kevin. I want to show everyone, right? So the TV's in a different location. So instead of having it on the wall, they put it a little more centered, kind of right there, or rather more midship, I should say. Connections are right up on the ceiling. Microwave hood will be right here. Storage across the top there. Um, you have, again, the hood with the light and the fan. Our refrigerator is in a very similar spot. Open that up for you so you can take a look. And again, this one does run off both uh, propane and electric. Now moving a little bit, you also you still get the uh, the upgraded countertops in here. You have the recessed cooktop with the glass cover. You know, folds up and back just like so. Um, now this is a a graystone unit, and, and graystone's great. Um, the only thing I don't like about it so much is I wish that it it stopped right the the glass cover when you fold it back. So what you'll notice is when I when I fold this all the way back it sets up against the wall, right? Rather than, rather than stopping. So Furion, which is a competitor, will have it kind of stop right here. It's spring loaded. Uh, the gray stone goes all the way back. So not a huge deal, right? But again, it's some of those little differences, some of those little nuances, um, you know, between, between the, ex ex for example, the fuel and the rogue right here. Underneath is the oven. If you need to bake anything, uh, because you do have the upgraded countertops, it allows you to recess the sink. And I do really like the sink color. It's kind of like that black stainless steel. Looks really sharp. It's apron front, right? So you're kind of showing off the sink right away. You have the uh, hand sanitizing station is what they call it. Um, you know, I'd call it a soap dispenser. But hey, you know, in, in today's time, I understand exactly what they did there, you know. Uh, coming up top here is your high-rise faucet. You know, I do like the darker color. Again, kind of matching the sink. Underneath... Storage, pots and pans, 
single drawer here, right? So, so you know, we don't have quite as much drawer space, a single drawer. You have to have at least one to make it functional, folks. I prefer two, but you can definitely uh, get by on one. Now, one of the other differences you'll see, we notice, you know, you have a bed here as well as the rollover sofas. Looks, looks the same, right? Not quite, because this one is not powered. This is manual. Now, I will tell you, you know, I've lowered these before. Um, it, to be perfectly honest, you have to have a decent amount of strength as well as be somewhat tall. I mean, at six foot tall, you can see if I grab right here, I'm almost maxed out. Not quite on my tippy toes, but as far as pulling this down, you know, it's not super difficult, but I, I've, I've done some where the struts aren't adjusted quite as nicely and you gotta pull a little tough. This one was actually easier than I expected, which is good. Uh, but what you do is you, you pull the front down and then you can, uh, or sorry, pull the back down and then you'll have an angle where you can actually pull the front down and that's how you get the bed up and down. The cool thing about this one is even though it's a little bit more manual labor, it's way faster than the power, to be honest. Um, you know, it's just boom, boom, done. Um, and then when you want it up, it's up. So again, kind of pros and cons to both. The rollover sofas are very similar. Again, the big difference here though, is the fact that when these roll, uh, when they roll up and you store them, they're going up against the sidewall. With the powered, you can have them up top, which gives you more width, right? And sometimes you need that depending on what kind of toys you're putting in. So you can see there definitely are some differences, folks. And, and that's what we're here for, right? Some of those little nuances, those are things we know, things that, especially if you're a first time RV buyer, you may not account for. But here's the great thing is we can help you. All you have to do is text that word fresh to 46642 and that will give you access to over 100,000 pieces of inventory, both 20,000 on the lot. We have more than 80,000 coming in. Plus it'll get you in contact with a specialist who can help walk you through some of these things and make sure that you're getting exactly what you want and you know nothing more than what you need and nothing less than what you want. We can definitely help you out there. Uh, right over here on the wall, you can see this one also has a heated holding tanks, which are great. So, you know, that'll be uh, 12 volt tank heaters on there. You can flip that on to make sure your tanks and stuff aren't uh, freezing up on you. Tank monitoring panel will be located right next to that. USB ports, electrical outlets, pretty much everything you need. Another couple differences you'll notice is on this side. So you'll see storage across the top here, these really cool zebra blinds, which I like. You can kind of control the amount of light that you let in. And right underneath, instead of having one Euro chair, you have two. So, you know, again, it's a little bit longer, gives you a little bit Little more space right in here so you get that second euro chair so there can be a couple of you kicking back and relaxing as we make our way out a little bit and we take a look at the screen you'll see some differences here as well now it still does zip in the center so you can go in and out which is great and bear in mind folks not all toy haulers have this system at all there's some that don't have anything here so again you want to make sure you pay attention now this one instead of having two different screens that roll down right one for, uh, that you can still see through that stops the rain, one for privacy. This one just has one, so it does both. So if you need to stop you know, uh, rain from coming in, it's gonna completely black it out. You're not gonna get any sunshine in. Just keep that in mind. Again, backup cameras on there like we saw, and folks, I am hanging out right here on the party deck, living the deck life. Toy haulers are great, folks. If Again, if you wrote them off, I'm telling you right now, you definitely need to take another look. This right here is the 2021 Forest River Rogue 25V. If this is the one, if you love it, you love the weight under 6,500 pounds, you love the price under 34K, the fact it has a 100-gallon fresh tank, all you need to do is text the word RV to 46642. Introducing RV123 by Camping World, the only way to buy and take delivery of your new RV, all from the comfort of your couch or camp chair. To buy your new RV the easy way, just follow these simple steps. Step one, shop till you drop. Find your perfect RV online at campingworld.com and schedule a live virtual walkthrough with one of our RV specialists. Step two, make it mine. Discuss financing options over the phone with a Camping World finance expert. All paperwork handled via mail. Prepaid envelopes are provided. Step three, let's go camping. Take delivery of your new RV at your home or campsite. Our certified delivery specialist will provide the same high quality walkthrough that you would receive at a Camping World dealership. There's a whole new way to buy an RV. Get your RV the easy way with RV123 by Camping World. All right, folks, take a look at the beauty of the Forest River Shockwave 30 DSGDX. 
You're looking at 16 foot of cargo space in this bad boy. Gorgeous furniture. You can see we have the carpet laid out, giving you that nice home feeling, right? So you can take your shoes off, walk around, and enjoy being able to step on the carpet. Folks, if you're looking for travel trailer toy haulers, again, this one right here is a great one. As far as price point, this one is, uh, you're looking at 12 bucks a day is all it is for, for all of this, for everything you get. Take a look at the beautiful kitchen we have, solid surface countertops up there. We'll get up to it in just a second, but another thing I always love to point out, especially when we're talking toy haulers, is the party deck, folks. This is where it's at. You're gonna have so much fun out here, setting up the chairs, hanging out. Right up top is an awning. And the, the cool thing about that, you can put the awning out. That way you have coverage from the sun, right? That awning comes out. Here we are hanging out. You know, you don't have to worry about that Arizona sun beating down on you, making you sweat when you're not moving, because it's happening to me today. It's happened a few times. I underestimated the heat of the Arizona sun. I might burn. I got to put on some sunscreen. That doesn't happen very often for me. Uh, you'll also see right here, we have our screens, which I love. These just drop down nice and easy. You know what, here, let me do this. I'll just, boom, just like that. So you zip it right along the side, that way it stays in place. You'll also see there's a zipper in the center, so it makes it easy to enter and exit from that party deck. And you have a screen as well as the cover. So if it's you know raining out or misting out, you can uh, have that cover down so all that is not coming in. And obviously when you zip it down, it'll stay in place, won't blow around like it is right now. Uh, on this side here, we have these sofas, and these are uh, really cool, right? They're gonna be jackknife style sofas, but take a look at how plush these are, folks. I mean, uh, you, you wanna talk about you know some, some higher end furniture, right? You start to get into to this RV and you really have very plush, comfortable furniture, and you know I, I love this because this is where I wanna hang out. I'm gonna have that door open, I'm gonna have my screens you know, zipped down and opened up and just sit here with a nice cold beer, relax, look out at the, the desert plain. <sighs> I can feel it now. Right up top is the bed, folks. This one drops down super simple and easy. It's on the Happy Jack system. I also like to put an LED light in here, right? Just A, it adds a little more light. B, it just looks great. Um, I always like when they use a nice clean light. It's one of the things I appreciate about Shockwave. You know, so many um, of, your, of your toy hauler manufacturers, they get it in their head that, you know, oh, we need these blue lights and hardcore rock and roll. And sometimes it's great, right? Like, yeah, I, I know that a lot of people really enjoy it. For me personally, I like having a nice clean light and that's what they've done all the way throughout. I mean, you know, you can see, you know, even in the countertop, right? Like it's clean, it, it just, it looks high end, which it's exactly what it is. Good storage right here. We'll open that up so you can take a look. You know, excellent storage space running all the way up and down right there, which is fantastic. You still get good speakers, folks. I mean, the, you want to talk about name brand, we have Kenwood speakers in here. Uh, that's a lot better, you know, than, than what a lot of times you get. Um, you know, usually it'll be like a Jensen or a JBL. I actually really like Kenwood. Uh, you know, growing up, I, I had a Kenwood stereo both at home and in my car. And I'm telling you, they can put out some great sound. This floor plan in particular right over here, you will see. We have some super comfortable rockers, folks. You can, you know, just sit back right here, shoot the breeze. And there's one of the things I love about this floor plan. So you have the two seats right here. You have the sofas in the back. You have another sofa right across the way. So you can have two different groups of people in here having two separate conversations at the same time. I mean, absolutely, everyone can be in the same convo if you want, but I love just being able to be right here, you know, talk to someone. And then again, you can have, you know, four or five, six people in the back, plus people out on the party deck. You know, so many people when they think toy hauler think, well, I don't have toys. Why do I want it? Right? I, I, I don't have quads. I don't have side-by-sides. I don't need a toy hauler. But if you like to entertain, if you like to kind of be that, that I don't want to say party central, right? But kind of like the host, right? That, that everyone from the campground comes and hangs out at. You know, if you have family that's coming with you, friends that's camping with you, because that's what camping's all about is hanging out with people. A floor plan like this absolutely hits the nail right on the head, right? I mean, you have just this excellent space. You have a lot of prep space in the kitchen so you can make snacks. You have tables you can put all over the place. I mean, you can put a table here. You can put a table in the back between the two rollover sofas. We have a, a nice little uh, end table right here. Would it be an end table, Kevin? If it's in between two chairs, is it a mid table? Is it still in, considered an end table? Uh, but you know, you got a good spot for a, a beverage right there. You know, if I'm 
pouring myself a little bit of bourbon. There it is. Nice hot day like today. Nice cool rock. I could make that happen. Storage all the way across the top there. Jensen TV right in the center. This one I believe is a 40 inch TV. So nice and big. So you know, anywhere except for basically right here, you'll have a, a pretty good ability to see the TV. You also see roller shades. I love having roller shades. They make it super simple. You don't have to worry about you know tension and having them bind up or anything like that. Moving into the gorgeous kitchen, we have the Dometic fridge freezer combo. I'll open that guy up for you so you can take a look. Boom, just like that. You'll see this one is 12 volts. Very common. Uh, we're seeing a lot of manufacturers switch over to the 12 volt fridge and for good reason. You know, when you have something like this, chances are you're gonna be out boondocking. And you know, with a couple batteries and you know, 200 watts of solar, you can basically run that thing almost indefinitely, which is great. Plus, you know, if you have a generator going, obviously it'll, uh, you know, fill up the batteries, you'll be good there too. Pantry all along the side, storage right up top. Something else I wanna point out, you'll see the AC, but also further behind that, this one has a ceiling fan. Uh, in this layout, that's something you don't get very often, right? It, you know, a lot of times, if you have like the big fifth wheels and you know, the garage is separated from the living space, the living space may have it, but I love that they were able to actually fit a ceiling fan in here. And uh, headspace too, folks, that's another big one when we talk about toy haulers and, and some of the advantages is they have lots of head height, big slides, right? Which allows for bigger windows and makes it when you come up off the sofa, you're not gonna knock your head on the slide. Gorgeous, solid surface countertops. Again, I love the light that's inlaid. I think it, uh, you know, it's as far as countertop styles, I've seen some other manufacturers use this and it's one of my personal favorites. Um, you know, when we remove the sink top covers, you can see the undermount sink. If you have solid surface, why wouldn't you undermount the sink, right? It's easier to clean. It looks better. I absolutely would. High rise oil rub bronze faucet there. Storage underneath the sink. Open that up. And if you know me, you'll know what I love right away. And that's the fact there's a spot for a trash can, right? Right under my sink, exactly where I want it. In the back, we have three different drawers. The top one already has your flatware divider for you. So you don't have to worry about it. You know, big thick drawers running all the way down there. Window in the kitchen to let in some of that light. Of course, LED lights, otherwise storage all across the top. Right over here is your microwave. Cooktop right underneath that. This is recessed, so that way you can use this as uh, additional prep space. But again, you have a ton of prep space in this kitchen, which you know I, I absolutely love. I know a lot of people, that's one of the big, uh, sometimes drawbacks, right? Is they're like, oh, well, in a toy hauler, you don't get great kitchen space. Uh, I'm sorry, but that's more than I've seen in a lot of bunk models. Uh, you know, you get just as much sleeping capacity, more seating, and equal size kitchen countertop, if not more. Solar controller built in right here, max air fan control, tank monitoring panel, everything for your fans, all that will be located there as well as your thermostat. More storage right over here to the side. I'll open that up for you so you can take a look. And if you want, we can... Uh, See, is there a, yeah, so here, Kev, I'll have you come right in through this way. There you go. I'll come in the other way. So as you can see, you have a couple different entrances and exits here into the bathroom. So uh, this is great because, you know, again, if you're coming from the main living area, if you're coming from the bedroom in the middle of the night, either way, you get access to the bathroom. Plenty of space around the bowl. It is a porcelain bowl as well, so it's easy to clean. They give you a linen closet, so you have a spot for your towels, everything else that you need. Mirrored medicine cabinet, you know, nice big sink, makes it easy to wash your hands. For the shower, we have the travel lock here, open that up. You can see it's a neo angle shower, but again, take a look at the ceiling height, folks. You know, I can be 6'5, six, 6'6, six, six and still be able to shower in here, no problem, which is wonderful. Making our way into the bedroom, you have the beautiful queen bed right here in the center, right? We can see that. You kind of have the shiplap wall board up front with the padded headboard. I actually like having a padded headboard because if you want to sit up to read, you can. You have the reading lights, you have storage across the top, and on the far side over there is a slide out wardrobe. So you have good clothes storage in here too. You'll also notice nightstands on both sides. You have electrical outlets, USB ports, and Kev, kind of take a look up top. That's right, you have your own AC right in the bedroom to make sure you're going to be nice and cool on those hot nights.
Now as I make my way outside, you'll see the bigger grab handle, so you have that for a little bit extra control when entering or exiting the RV. We saw the secondary entrance for the bedroom right up front there, so you do have a couple different options of how you want to enter this one. Opening this space up right there, that gives you access to the back of the fridge, which I think is kind of cool, right? A lot of times, that's one of the big hang-ups, is how do you get there? Well, that makes life a lot easier for you. If you want an outside TV, that is where the TV will hook up. Up top is your power awning with an LED light strip, plus some more speakers. And once again, folks, those are Kenwood speakers out here. If you want to bring the party outside, you can certainly do that too. You'll have your uh, a winterization connection making it nice and easy. Black tank flush right there, fresh water. We talked about this right here is our secondary entrance. Come on up front, take a look with me here at the uh, front storage. You will see excellent front storage right there. Coming around the other side, or rather around the front, power tongue jack, beautiful three quarter front cap with LED lights. Battery disconnect here, so you can just flip it and kill all power to the coach. Another thing I love, if you take a look at the, the battery rack here, you will see that they have already prepped it for you to have two batteries. They're thinking ahead. They know there's a good propensity that you are going to want that. Take a look up a little bit further. There it is, folks, 5,500 watt Cummins Onan generator. If you're looking for a travel trailer where you can have a generator straight from the manufacturer, a toy hauler is gonna be one of your best bets. It's hard to find a generator in a travel trailer that isn't a toy hauler. So if that's one of the things you're looking for, folks, I'm telling you, travel trailers are gonna be a great option. This beauty right here, this Shockwave, folks, as I mentioned, you can own this one for as little as $12 a day. If this is the one for you, all you have to do is text the RV to 46642. Now, let's say you liked what we had here, but you're looking for something maybe, you know, a little more budget friendly. Maybe you want to, uh, you know, go to something that's like $10 a day, maybe slightly under $10. Good news for you folks is that we have them. In order to get you access to those and get hooked up with the specialist, text the word FRESH to 46642. Thank you, Ian. Go get ready for the face-off, man, because we are going to put you to work, my friend. You and Chris have your work cut out for you. I love when we do the ultimate face-off with two incredible manufacturers going wheel to wheel. That'll be in just a moment. But what do we have first, Caleb? First, we got to give away a $250 merch shirt. But before we do, I got to remind you, this is your last chance to register. Register to be eligible for these ultimate giveaways. You got to text URVS to 46642. We're giving away a $250 merch shirt, and it is going to uh -oh, drum Samantha Whiteford. Now, see, when Tiffany's up here, she usually sings the winner. Yes, yeah, see, I just, I don't have it in me sometimes. <laughs> but I could do, like, the UFC maybe, and, like, Samantha Whiteford. Oh, see, Samantha, congratulations. There it's a $250 is. gift card. It's all part of our over $250,000 that we've been giving away for the last 10 weeks. As this is the last weekend, this is the last chance for you to save big at the Ultimate RV Show National Tour. And again, if you have any questions at all, you just text RV to 46642. It's that simple. You ready that, for the face-off? I'm ready. What do we got? All right. First of all, uh, you and I both know everything there is to know about Ultimate Fifth Wheel travel trailers. It's true. And uh, also the fifth wheels that you pull behind the big you know, trucks and mm -hmm. you get your big bad boys out there. But we're going to take the Mallard and we're going to go wheel to wheel with the Pioneer. Ooh, two great rigs. I can't wait to see what comes. Yeah, and we got two great guys to go toe to toe and wheel to wheel with. Chris, Ian, take it away. Let's see what you got. Ultimate RV Show National Tour Week 10. What's up? It's Woo! Chris Young with the man, the Don, the Ian Baker. Dude, what? Me. We, week 10, we are here. I'm excited. I'm excited. It's, it's been great, dude. It's it, good to finally see you, too, Yes, man. I know. It's been forever. We keep doing this, like, little hit and miss dance, and finally, finally. Finally. We're here. Beautiful Arizona, sun shining. I mean, this Can't whole, ask for a nicer day, nicer weather. This whole area, this, uh, like, southwest, just southern southwest is just beautiful. We're in, so we got southern Nevada, Arizona, southern mm -hmm. California. I mean, it's, it's some of the best camping for four-season camping I think Absolutely. you're going to find. Oh, 100%. So we decided, you know what? Why not give you guys a chance to check out two great campers? One of them, yes, sir. good for entry level. Yep, perfect. The other one, good for advanced camping. Yep. With entry level pricing on it. Yes, sir. Only way to do it with the big dog is do a face-off. Welcome to the Pioneer Mallard Face-Off, baby. What are we going right. to do first? 
Chris, let's start with the Pioneer, buddy. Okay. You know, I know you're a big fan of the Pioneer. I'll let you uh, I am. kind of lead here. So for, for 2021, Heartland with, with the Pioneers really decided to step up the game a little bit. For bang for your buck, you really can't beat entry-level Pioneers. If, mm -hmm. if you've been tent camping, truck camping, you know, this and the other thing, and you want to kind of dip your toe in the water, you hear oh, about that? Can I see that again? Yeah, you kind of dip your there toe. There it is. All and right. Dip, and then you dip, <laughs> and then you trip, and then you keep, and I'll make some change. And <laughs> say, they said, we're going to give you an entry-level camper that has all the features of an advanced camper um, at entry-level price. So bang for your buck, man, you really can't beat it. You got the diamond-plated rock guard here, which we're going to talk about once we get on the um, get on the outside, including the upgraded storage. Yes, sir. Dude, they went yes. fi over 52 cubic feet of storage. Well, the really cool thing about this one too, Chris, is we get to see you know the Pioneer, and, and this is kind of like early 2021, and then yep. a little bit later we'll see the other one with the brand new exterior changes, everything they've done. Yes, Super yeah, the, the aggressive profile. I, yes. I, I really like. But you're going to get uh, for 2021 solid steps. Yep. You're going to get, which is part of the Easy Camp package. Uh, we'll talk about that. Yeah, dude, let's, let's, head yeah. People, let's head inside. People want to see Look at this. what we got going on inside. There's been some major changes, and I yeah. I personally, I, I'm a big fan of what Pioneer's done. Yeah, well, for 2021, a lot of the manufacturers took what people said. Mm -hmm. We want brighter interiors, yep. darker features. Yep. Pioneer did it. They, they give you this beautiful rustic barn decor yes. with the, the bright white and uh, the gray wood all the way throughout. So you're going to see that all the, all the way throughout. But they kept the furniture... Mm -hmm. dark because right. less wear and tear, yeah. less stains. Yes. And you're point. actually sitting on one of the best features for 2021. I, I agree. I was, I was actually very shocked that they, they went to true solid surface, uh, purely from a price standpoint, yeah. right? Like it's, it's amazing. They can still offer you the entry level price um, and, and upgrade into that solid surface. I mean, you know, we, we have the, the three countertop styles, right? You'll mm -hmm. have your, your T-mold, Yep. You have like your thermal form, or you know, where they kind of heat treat it. Yeah, right? the little pressed. I, exactly, yeah. and then you have the the solid surface. Actual and solid surface. Yeah, it, it's for this price point, Chris. I don't know if you know there aren't many others in this price point that are able to do something like this. Yeah, and by giving and you say it, you know, you've been saying it for a while now. Having that solid surface allows you to have the undermounted stainless yes. steel sinks. Yes. Yes. Uh, this one being the 50/50 with the high rise faucet. Yep. It, it's part of their ultimate kitchen upgrade. So you get the solid surface and you get the backsplash, the decorative backsplash, which mm -hmm. is more than an applique. It's actually, you know, a, a thick pad. Yeah. Uh, it just looks good. It's functional. You still get the flush mounted cooktop with the glass cover, the high output front burner. Uh, I mean, it's just, it's nice. It's functional. It's yep. nice. And for the price point, like you mentioned, yeah, dude, you can't beat it. So this one that we're in here is the 2021 RE275. Great yep. rear entertaining camper. Yep. Can sleep four. Uh, so if you need space, you know, you want dance floor to cut a rug, <laughs> this is one because you got that upgraded linoleum flooring. Yep. And in and, and the slide out too, they went with the, the nylon weave, right? We talked about flooring. That is a yeah. huge upgrade in my opinion because, you know, that, that's when you were starting to look through a lot of these travel trailers, you know, in the kind of like the 2018 to, to yeah. 2020, they, they started removing all the carpet except for in the slides. And so, you yeah. know, but you sit there so much, right? Yeah. I, that's where you're going to spend the majority of your time. That's where you eat. Dine at. Yeah. Right sitting on the sofa and then you know i don't know about you but well i do know uh you know we, we have a few drinks sometimes <laughs> yeah, when we, right? Camp, yeah. right? we get a couple and, uh, a little tip yes and you know <laughs> nicole she'll, she'll have a glass of wine or two and if that spills a little bit yeah. and it's on carpet dude now you have to replace the whole carpet right it's yep. not coming out something like this super easy to clean up um i, I think that's a, a big upgrade and again especially at the price point yeah for this price, i mean this one starts at 26.995 or as low as um or excuse me actually no it's less than that this is the no, you're yeah, right. Yeah, twenty six nine nine five is low as six dollars. I'm, 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 I'm checking my notes yeah. here, Chris. I was like, wait a minute, hang on. Put put on the glasses. I, I, know, I need my spectacles <laughs> real quick. And the dry weight is sixty four hundred pounds. So even with the solid surface, yep. you don't get that heavier weight that you would usually get with some of these aluminum sided RVs. Yep. You get the upgraded twelve volt fridge. That that's been a huge change in the industry, man. Yeah. It's it, out of you know. So, Chris, the cool thing about this is it kind of started from. Uh, supply chain issues mm -hmm. right like rv manufacturers couldn't get propane electric refrigerators and right. they started going to 12 volt and it was so successful because i mean why wouldn't you want it right yeah. I mean, you, you can basically run it off solar and a couple batteries and people are like man i would much rather have this setup than have the propane and electric and so many manufacturers have switched yeah. over to it 
It's, and it's, it's great. It's also that that frost resistant profile, which I like. It looks I, good. It's yes. clean, it's, and it goes doesn't from, fingerprint as much. Yeah, it doesn't fingerprint. And they also, because of that supply and demand issue, you went from having a seven or eight cubic foot to ten cubic feet. Yes. Cube, yes. Which that's you get the benefit of the supply issue that they have. Love it. Still get those beautiful design countertops with the entertainment center, the large TV. You get the uh, IRV technologies, which is Bluetooth. You can control it from your cell phone. Yep. And the storage, I like how for 2021, they did kind of the beveled wood with the frosted glass inlays. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at the room that we have up there. What, what is it? Why is, what? That's beautiful. So, I mean, good space for, you know, pretty much whatever you want. Board games, uh, food, because, you know, with your RV, it's, it's your RV. You can do with it whatever you want. Solid balance. There's just a lot of upgraded features. We're just not going to talk with the elephant in the room. I know I put on a couple. <laughs> okay. The Ultimate RV Show has been good to me, but bad to my waistline. Yeah, oh, I hear that. So mm -hmm. I, I, know, I wanted to bring okay. it up, but I can't help the cheesesteaks. I got to have mm. the cheesesteaks. I get it. I get it. Look at these beautiful, plush, like the jackknife sofa here, a lot of times, like for years past, we didn't have this fold down no. container. No, it's, it's something that's super simple, but it, it's functional, right? And for me, when I start looking at a lot of RVs, Chris, I, I like things that are, are versatile in, in a very functional way, right? Yeah. Like this, I mean, you fold it up, you would have no idea, right? It's a perfect, it, yeah. it, that you don't lose any comfort here at all, but you can flip that bad boy down. I got a place to put my arm to... Yep. Put my bourbon. Kick back to Yep, my three-finger pour. <laughs> and you got good entertainment view. Uh, and the other upgrade yes. for 2021, interior-wise, was mm -hmm. the cross-flow windows. They gave you larger windows. You got about yes. three more inches of height on these windows to give you great, not only light, but cross-flow of the breeze. Because when you do get a chance to get out here, like, like we're in Mesa, mm -hmm. could you imagine pulling this thing up to Sun Devil Stadium? Getting ready to tailgate. Body. Open the windows. The breeze is going. The noise. The music. Yeah, yeah. hearing it. Boom. There we go. Mm. You know, and then the devil's Getting taking on up. the wildcats. And boom, it's over. Woo like, woo It's on like a pot of neck bone. <laughs> there it is. The <laughs> a pot of neck bone. <laughs> a neck bone. U shaped dinette. Uh, residential features. And all for as little as $26,995. Yes, sir. Or as low as $6.67 a day. That is accurate. That is correct. And I really like the U shaped dinette. Uh, from the standpoint that not only is it great for sitting, but the fact it gives you a bigger sleeping space too. Yeah. And you know, I know this is a couple's coach, but I don't know what you, Chris, I like to camp with friends and that can be yeah. a place if they want to hang out and stay the night. Well, I mean, having this for a four sleeper is, is really nice because you do, you get to entertain more and the friends get to come out and you yep. have a lot of fun. Uh, I, I know it's going to be tight over there, Kev. Uh, Ian, why don't you take them through the pass through Yeah, yeah, right yeah. Come on, come on in here, Kev. So bathroom space right there's always a couple things i like to do for a test one of them and i think they did a, a perfect job here in the bathroom the first test is what i like to call the toilet test and no i'm not testing if it's going to flush anything <laughs> what, I, what i like to test is make sure i have enough space for my knees make sure I have enough space for my elbows you know if i want to sit here and read a book maybe read an article i can do so you know wait till my legs fall asleep before i get up <laughs> right. you, can, you can ask my wife chris i do that far too the often pins and needles yeah. pins and needles yeah. And the other one I like to do is the shower test, right? I'll stand in the shower at six foot tall. I want to see if my head's hitting. Chris, you know what? Swap me places, buddy. Get yeah. in here. You're 6'2". Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. want to see, I want to see if when you I can stand, stand up straight. in here. Well, let's see. With these 79-inch high ceilings, Look I at that. At 6'2". Yeah. Six foot two. Neo angle shower, too, which gives you the perception of more room. But look, I'm not cramped. Can, can you see over that? Are you doing like a Wilson? Yeah. Oh, but. <laughs> Hello, Tim. <laughs> So, and you know, the great thing about the Ultimate RV Show, too, bro, is you know, we have, um, we got over 170 locations nationwide. Yes, sir. People standing by. Mm -hmm. uh, over 20,000 RVs on the lot, over 80,000 factory fresh coming. Yes. So if yes, people want yes. to ask questions about things, you know, hey, this, this 60 by 80 queen size bed. Yep. Um, which, which I love the fact it's a full 80 inch residential. Yep. yep. As opposed to that 72 or 76, because you, you fall off the end. Yep. You feel like you're sliding. <laughs> sliding <laughs> right. Right. Tons of storage. They will be glad to answer those questions for you. But during the Ultimate RV Show, Ian and I won't have a lot of time. Correct. To, to go through all the things that you know you may have questions about. Yep. Uh, but with 80,000 units, man, Heartlands, Pioneers, I mean, fifth wheels, travel trailers, motorhomes, oh. Class B's, Class C's, uh, external kitchens. There's something out there for somebody. 
hundred percent. They just need to jump on it. Well, and that's that's the cool thing about about being who we are, Chris. And, and I, you know, I talked about this kind of throughout the show is having the availability to the inventory that we have. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have you know things from the Coleman you know 17B, which is a game changer, oh, right? Game getting changer. people yeah. out there, getting families into the lifestyle. Yeah. You start to upgrade. You're like, I like this. Want something? Maybe want a little more room. You move into the Pioneer, and maybe eventually move into something like the Mallards. The Mallards. Now, you and I both are fans of Mallards. Yes, sir. So. Entry level, bang for your buck, boom, right here. Pioneer, uh, yes, for boom. sure. And, and you know, the, you get the, the power package on here. Yeah. You know, power awning, power stabilizer jacks, power tongue jack. You don't get that in a lot of entry level. No, absolutely. For that price, not. I yeah. mean, for starting at $26,995, I mean, come yep. on, man. And, but and, the Mallard, baby. And, and I love, the thing I love about that floor plan, too, Chris, is the uh -huh. fact that uh, even though it's a rear entertainment, you still get the outside kitchen. Yeah. But yes, the Mallard. Oh, Tell me about man. the Mallard. All right, buddy. This is buddy. you all day. Yeah, so so a couple of reasons I love the Mallard. One of the things right away you'll notice is the out, so the exterior graphics package. They updated it. If you take a look, you'll see it's a lot more modern right here, right? Mm -hmm. you're, you're getting away from the swoops, the swooshes, the Nike symbols. Yeah. And you start to get into, <laughs> you start to get into cleaner lines, which I yeah. love. And glow in the dark graphics. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they glow in the dark. Do they? Yeah, they glow in the dark. Get out. Yeah, for 2021, they had a glow in the dark. Really? For reals. I wasn't Josh. I, I just learned something new today. Well, I, and you know, I didn't know it until we were at another location for the Ultimate RV Show. Yeah. And it was night, and I walked out, and I was like, "It glows in the dark." So I texted our rep, and I was like, "Dude, y'all glow in the dark graphics for 2021?" He's like, "Yeah." I'm like, okay, well there you go. Man, why don't they tell me these things? I know, right? You think, you think, <laughs> if we're gonna try to help them move some mallards, they would let us know. Oh, uh, that is awesome, though. That yeah. that is really cool. It's a nice um, little feature. Yeah, I like that. Uh, but the other thing about it too, construction standpoint, right? Your two inch thick walls. I mean, Ooh. you know, heavy duty, fully laminated. If you're looking to camp, you know, late in the fall, you don't have to worry about anything freezing. You have that fully enclosed, insulated, heated underbelly. It's a big and one feature. of my favorite parts, Chris, uh -huh. is the interior. Oh, the interior. What they've done Please. to the inside. Please come on in. Now they they updated for 2021 too, right? Yes, they did. So. Mallard over, uh, they had like a huge overhaul kind of uh, end of 2020, right? Going into 2021, they lightened up all the wood. They added the doodle station, you know, they have oh, nicer cabinetry. Yes. Dude, the doodle station, it, it's actually, it's, it's, <laughs> it's kind of so neat. But it is neat. Um, and, and I talk about it, you know, when I talk about Mallards, I like it for two different reasons, right? Like one, if you're a couple, uh, when, when the grandkids come over, that is cheap and easy entertainment. Yep, if Espe it's raining outside. Exactly. Yeah. Especially if you're talking a little bit smaller units, you know, because mm -hmm. this is like a, a mid-size, you know, kind of starting to approach the larger size of the Mallards. Yeah. But there's some, some smaller ones, you know, that are just a little over 20 foot. Something like this, they can come in, they can draw on it, it's perfect. Or someone like my wife, who's super artistic, mm -hmm. can do some really yes. cool stuff on there. Dude, some of those designs that she has done, just like with the lighting that you guys have in your home. Yeah, I'm it's like, crazy, right? She needs to be an interior designer. I, I, I keep telling down. her. I yeah. keep telling her. And, and, and Ryan's a great artist. You should see some of the things that she's painted oh. and set up around the house. I was like, oh, baby, where'd you buy that? <laughs> and, and like, I'm supposed to know that she did it. And of course, now I'm in the doghouse for six yeah, yeah, weeks. Yeah. You know, it, it's, I painted it, it. It came out. It came out. I like your painting in yeah. your head. Yes. In her head, she's yeah. like, you don't recognize my work? Yeah, it's like, you didn't know I did that? No, I, I can't I can't read minds yet. I'm working on it. I'm waiting for Harlan to build that in. But I, I love the rustic decor. Once again, yes. they, they did the light on the dark. Yep. Um, and even did the light on the dark with these cool uh, cushions. cushions. Yes. Yeah, no, absolutely. I think they did a great job here. And the thing I like about this one too, Chris, is the fact that they have reversible cushions, right? Yeah. So you kind of get options. If you want a little bit darker, great. You want something a little bit lighter, That's cool. boom, you just flip it over. You know, you want the two-tone look, you got it. You know the other great thing about that? We both have kids. Uh-huh. <laughs> we both have little kids. Uh-huh. You know they oh. can't get the food in their mouth oh. when they're supposed <laughs> to get it in their mouth. It goes on the cushion. Yep. This is for the adults. Yep. <laughs> and this is for the kids. There it is. There it is. And yeah, so it's like the uh, like the couch cushion at home, right? Just, yeah. it, you just flip it over. <laughs> just, I mean, that's what we do. I'm not gonna pay 400 bucks to get a steam clean. No. I just flip it over. Who cares who sees the zipper? Got the table. Yep. And so, so here's something else I want to mention. I actually really like this table. Mm -hmm. um, at first, when they first did this, Chris, I, I didn't like the way it looks as much, right? Like, yeah. you have a couple different dinette tables. I prefer having the post as far as yeah. aesthetically. Yeah. The thing I love about this, though, is I can put weight on here. This table doesn't rock, right? Because it's locked into the wall right yes. there. So, so it doesn't move. Right. So even though the legs may not look quite as nice, uh, the fact that, you know, it's it's very sturdy yeah. is a big plus in my book. You got four points of contact down there, which, yes. which really helps also keep it sturdy. Yep. Side opening storage underneath. We yep. got the jackknife sofa. Beautiful backlit 
is it fascia? 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 Fascia. Fascia. I believe. Okay, I learned something. I don't. That or I'm saying it wrong every time. I, I, but I, I'm, I'm pretty sure it it's fascia. Every freaking time. Just like, so, so the mallards. It's, it's not fascism. It's fascia. <laughs> That's right. It's fascia. <laughs> you get it and you get it for free. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> so uh, the, the thing I love about the mallards, too, is, you know, they, they have that Asdale backing. Yes. Whereas the other backing, I always say that wrong. Luan. Luan. I call Luan. it Luan. Luan. <laughs> like it's just someone's name. North Carolina, that, that's man. That's who designed it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Luan designed it. Oh, good old Luan in her basement. <laughs> Such a sweetheart. <laughs> She's great. <laughs> but this is a beautiful rear bath for couples, man. Well, this, this is a huge rear bath. Dude. Yeah. And the cool thing about that, right, is that a lot of times in RVs, and I say this a lot, but you don't have a lot of space to get changed in the bedroom. Yeah. And so you feel a little cramped. But when you get these huge rear baths, you have a ton of dude, space in there. Step in there and check that out. And then... Uh, yeah, all right, so, so tell me about the countertop over here yes. and the shower yeah. over there. Yeah, so, so the shower, as you can see, and again, right, I just want to step in here. So you, you have the barreled ceiling, Yeah. Uh, but I mean, as you can see, Chris, I mean, even, you know, I can stand right here, even without that skylight at right. six foot, I can still stand up. You can probably stand up in that skylight, no yeah. problem at all. Plenty of LED lights in mm -hmm. here, so it's nice and bright, whether it's night or day, and check this out. I, I can actually turn sideways, and I can still shut the door. Yeah. You know, oh, that's, that's beautiful. Yeah, because yeah. that's, that's 36 by 36. Dude, that's, it's a big shower for that's an RV. That's a big RV. shower, yeah. You got the, look at all the prep space, countertop space we got over here on the, on the sink. Love that. More space underneath. Storage over there. What? Mirrored medicine cabinets all over the place. Who is that supposed to be? Who's what supposed to be? In the mirror? That's Look you, at homie. the man in the mirror. <laughs> that's, that's you, homie. <laughs> Go ahead, Kev. Yeah, so, and, and again, you know, great, it, actually, Chris, show them this real quick. Right oh. behind the entertainment center. This is one of my favorite things, actually, about this floor plan. Walk in I don't, don't want to miss this. Yeah, take a look so, at that. look at the space that you have here. Now, this one sleeps four. Yes, sir. And, I mean, dude, 5,800 pounds, 31 feet long. I've yep. uh, got plenty of pantry space. I could even get in here, but if you use this for a hunting or a fishing cabin, good spot for the rods, the cases. <laughs> Get back, well, yeah, get back, get back in there. You know your place. <laughs> well, and the, and the coolest thing about this one too, Chris, is that you know, as, as far as stepping up, right? As far as being an upgrade, I mean, you're getting you know the all aluminum framing. You're getting mm -hmm. the laminated construction. You're getting the updated decor and features and amenities. Right. And for the show, you can still pick this one up for under thirty-one thousand dollars. Wow. Yeah. Wow. It's incredible. That's Absolutely. Seven dollars and forty-two cents a day. You are a mathematician, my friend. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! They wrote it down for me. <laughs> Master Chef Kitchen. I, you know, yep. I, I'm a fan of the L-shape or like the galleys where you actually have the full like walk-ins. Yep. I love those. Nice undermounted sink. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. What? Great kitchen space. Pull out faucet. Oh, so that's got a sprayer nozzle. Yep. yep nice. Yep. Okay. Love that. Dude, that's beautiful. And one, one of my other favorite parts about them, right up here in the bedroom. Yeah. Follow me in here, big oh, boy. Go ahead, Kev. What you'll, <laughs> what you'll ahead, notice Kev. is the fact they have a king size bed. Woo! And yes, sir. Yes, sir. I have a king at home. Yes. Um, you know, and here's what I love about a king bed. I love my wife to death. Yes. I love snuggling. Yes. But when I'm sleeping, I am a furnace. Yes. Get away from me because I yes. exude heat and yes. I will wake up sweaty. I want you to be on the other side of the bed. Preach it. <laughs> <laughs> well, tell you what, you holding court. Yes, 200%. And the, the other thing, my wife, mm -hmm. when, when she sleeps, mm -hmm. she starts, you know, when we snuggle, she's over here. Yep. But then all of a sudden turns into Jimmy Snooker <laughs> diving from the top. <laughs> And so having a king bed is imperative because I get that much space if I'm lucky. Yes, sir. Because then all of a sudden she's running a marathon and it's just steady. Just, <laughs> just like that, just steady kicks. My kidneys have not been right for seven years. <laughs> it's just, here's, I mean, here's the thing, Chris. You think she's sleeping. Really, she's just kicking you. Yeah, she's just kicking you. She knows. <laughs> king size bed. Standard in all mallards. Oh, and speaking yes, of king, we got yes. some, some, some more king stuff outside, too. Yes, we? we do. Yes, yes. King Kong. One might say. King Kong. Mm, I love the, the door on here, too, on the bathroom. Oh, the barn That barn door. door. Yeah. That's beautiful. I, yeah, they did a great job Speaking there. Speaking of King Kong, he's fighting uh, Godzilla in an upcoming movie. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I'm excited that's about that. That's coming out, huh? Yeah. It, it, I think that's like the 15th one in the last seven years. No, that <laughs> sounds about hey, right. Hey, man. Well, let's be honest. Godzilla's going to take it. He he's going to get my money. <laughs> he doesn't stand a chance. <laughs> he doesn't stand a chance. <laughs> So talk about King Kong. You have the King Kong size storage right here, Chris. And this is huge, right? That when is you huge. take a look at this entry door right here, and I love this because, you know, sometimes I take some bigger chairs. Yeah. It's not always bag chairs. You know, yeah. I have like executive chairs, things like that. They're big. Mm -hmm. A lot of times they don't fit, but in here you have no problem. You have yes. totes. You can fit totes in here. 
You know, my, my wife loves to keep things organized when we camp. Mm -hmm. And so she'll load, you know, try to load it up with totes. Well, a lot of times in a pass-through, you can't fit very big totes in here, but right. something like this, dude, it's not a problem at all. Yeah, I mean, they, uh, they upgraded that for 2021. I think yep. you get like 57.5 cubic feet of storage up to. I mean, that's, that's crazy. Yeah, it is. And, and yeah, all right, you love this, because I could also get an 18 pack <laughs> easily in there. You get a 30 rack. You get a 30 rack, <laughs> get, get my cube. And it's uh, slam latch, right? Magnetic mm -hmm. slam latch, just drop that sucker oh. down, good to go. Love beautiful, the beautiful front end. Profile. I, I, you know, a lot of manufacturers went to like that, that faux front window. Yeah. And I think it was a good choice, right? It was it, a good choice. It gives you the aesthetic without any, you know, the, the fear or worry about leaks, right? Right. I mean, not that most of them have that issue, but you know, anything that can be less concerning for me is definitely going to be better. Oh yeah, 200%. And when it's, you know, you got automotive grade paint coating on them. I mean, mm -hmm. it's, you know, it really helps extend the life of the camper and extend that camping season. Speaking of, for 2021, they brand did a new brand graphics. spanking new. Yeah, new graphics, new yep. hybrid fiberglass aluminum profile on the front, which is yes. aerodynamic, looks good. It, it really does. Yeah, I, I think they did a great job on here. That's, they, uh, uh, I like this one. Yeah, no, it's, it's uh, and I like it being smooth like that on the front, and I talk about this a lot, Chris, but th this will be, you know, the, the dirtiest spot on your RV when you're, when you're traveling, oh, right? Yeah, that's yeah. where all the bugs are gonna smash. Yep. And this is so much easier to clean than the ribbed. Mm -hmm. I think this was a great change. I like the color scheme that they went with, the graphics package, all of it. And once again, great. just an upgraded entry level that a lot of times you're not gonna get on entry level RVs. Yep. Those upgraded features like the King Kong size storage. Yeah. Now these, uh, they upgraded to almost 52 cubic feet on some of the models. 52, it's impressive. Yeah, which is impressive. Yeah, a little bit less than the Mallards, but once again, this is entry level. Correct. So if you're looking for bang for your buck, you still get the power stabilizer jacks, power yes, tongue sir. jacks, power awning, solid steps. Now this is the DS320. Insulated, insulated and closed underbelly. Yep, and that's the, um, the it's, it's, it's the paneled underbelly too. Oh, really? Yeah, which is oh, kind of okay. cool. Yeah, very yeah. nice. It, very nice. It's, it's a lot easier for any kind of maintenance, right? People don't realize that with the enclosed underbelly. A lot of times you got to either cut a big hole in it mm -hmm. or take the whole thing off and replace it. Yeah, Panels so make it nice. super simple. And this one, um, once again, the large windows, you get the beautiful graphics on the outside. I, I like how they up, upgraded them for this year. Mm -hmm. A lot of the manufacturers went to the blue and the gray and the black because you remember a few years ago it was brown on brown. Yes. Just ugly, man. Just, <laughs> just, ugly. just like me in the morning, man. Just ugly as sin. <laughs> Get out Nobody wants to see that coming in. But when you walk into something like this, you do want to see this coming in. Oh, yeah. Look yeah, at this, this is... beauty. Absolutely gorgeous. And again, for, for being entry level, I'm very shocked at the upgrades that they have made. I yep. mean, it, you walk in, it feels bright. It feels open. You have the big windows. You have plenty of LED lighting. Nice, bright, you know, that solid surface countertops. Yeah, that, mat, yeah, that, that ultimate kitchen feel. More countertop yes. space, solid surface, undermounted stainless steel sink, frosted glass that's decorative put into yeah. all of the... Uh, all the uppers uh, yeah, there. All, all the uppers of cabinetry, the high output front burner on the three cooktop. Now this one here is not the 12 volt fridge. Uh, this is the uh, gas electric. What is that? So you do get the option of having both. Okay. Which is, okay. you know, which, you know, which is a nice feature. You can yeah. get either or. Okay. Um, and this one too has a doodle station on it. Well, would you look at that? Would you? Yeah, would I see you something like that. At it? And I say, would you look at it? <laughs> <laughs> but you shape dinette in this one. Yes. Residential style features, large I, cross flow windows. I, I love the, the farm style light they have there. That, that's really cool. Isn't that cool? Yeah, it is. Especially, you know, kind of like the ship lap on the sides. Yeah. Um, I think it really kind of helps bring things together. I think, I think they did a good job. It's, I'd say for, for 2021, tip of the hat to Heartland for both the Pioneer and for the Mallard. Mm -hmm. uh, either way you go with either one of these RVs, you, you're not really going to go wrong. No. It's, it's just what experience and what features do you want. For sure. So, that, that, that's exactly it, Chris. And, that, you know, kind of like we talked about in the very beginning, there's, there's an RV for everyone out there. It's oh, just, yeah. It's just a matter oh, of, goodness. you know, the, the features you want and uh, make sure the floor plan's right for you. And the spacing. So this one is the mm -hmm. DS320. Yes, sir. Uh, sleep eight people comfortably. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Still we'll get back to the bunk room in just a second here. Oh, man, it's beautiful. What, what, what I love about ones that have bunk rooms, mm -hmm. double access points. You yes, got sir. Entry into the bathroom, yep. which is great if you have the kids or the dogs. You get to clean, clean off them animals, clean off them kids without tracking all this stuff through the beautiful flooring. Lights, neo angle shower with the glass enclosures. I mean, just yep. dude, just money. Yeah, no, I, I agree. Having that, money. having the door right there in the bathroom is 
super effective or efficient, not just for like kiddos, right? But for me too, like, like we talked about, Chris, I tend to have a few beers when I go camping, yeah, uh, a little bit of bourbon. And with that, I tend to have to pee a lot. So. Yes, yes, exactly. <laughs> you know, it's funny how that happens. It, it's the craziest thing, isn't you, it? You would think somebody would come out with a beer that evaporates as soon as it's done. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, Interesting. manufacturers, y'all need to work on that. <laughs> Love this bunk room of the DS320, completely redesigned because uh, you, you get a bunk along the back wall here, yeah. entertainment center with the double over there, 300 pound capacity, hideaway ladder, and you got the adjust the loungers over here, man. <sighs> these are great. My kids love these. This is where I'm hanging out, buddy, right yeah. here. This is the card room. Gonna have my PS5 hooked up right there. Just... <laughs> Still waiting on mine. <laughs> I told you about having to rebuy a PS4, right? Why'd you have to rebuy it? So I, I took it on the trip during the Ultimate RV show. Yeah. I, I didn't. I put it in my checked bag. I didn't put it in my carry-on. Why would you do that? Because <laughs> I'm not bright. Have you, have you seen what they do with luggage? <laughs> I, I am not the sharpest orange in the shed. <laughs> That's what's wrong. So yeah, I had to. It broke. Okay. Uh, and it was. Okay. It's funny. It was the week after we had all the gathering in mm. Minneapolis. It was beautiful. Mm -hmm. It was beautiful. You probably should have just gave it to the jerseys. Had them towed around for you. Right. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sure Bryce would have loved that. But uh, these are great because you can have two twin beds. Mm -hmm. You can double them up as a as as a double bed. Yes, sir. Or do like my my 12 year old does and stack the two on top of each other. Oh. And get a, and get a double plus single. All right. All right. Yeah. I like that. Got the 200 pound capacity on the twin bunk there. There's still beautiful paneling. Another thing to point out, Chris, is that this one is prepped for that second AC. So, yes. you know, you start getting into some bigger travel trailers like this. Yeah. And sometimes having that prep, you know, you want to make sure things stay cool. Right. That prep can uh, can definitely be important. Well, and they, they upgraded some of the uh, equipment in these. So, you're going to mm -hmm. come standard with a 13.5 and, yes, and a 30,000 BTU furnace. Which is, which is a good size furnace. That is I for, mean, for, yeah. for entry level. Absolutely. Usually you get 20, sometimes even yep. 18. So yep. Having that is really nice. Entertainment, Entertainment Center. Center. Hey. You with the. Coke, uh, right? Yeah, I mean, you know, when, when you're ready to watch TV, because, I mean, sure, when we're out camping, we want to get away from everything. But you still got good space to hook everything what, up. Tell me, Chris, what, what are you watching? What, uh, what, what's the show of choice here? Um, you talking like Mean Girls? I do like Mean Girls, mm -hmm. Gossip Girls. Sex in the City? Sex in the City, mm -hmm. love Sex in the City. Sure. Uh, I'm, I'm a big Girls Oh, yeah, 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 yep, yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, like, you okay. know, I like girls. I also watch, you know, pretty much everything Marvel has ever made. Oh, that's fair. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, Wonder Woman? Wonder, oh, gosh, yeah, Wonder Woman. Mm -hmm. You kidding me, Gal Gadot? Oh, <laughs> son. Sorry, honey, I love you, but. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> if she comes knocking, <laughs> you got to get a pass for that, right? You got to. Queen size bed back here, cubby yes, storage. Yep. Um, just a lot of features that are in a entry level camper you don't expect to see. And I actually really like the cubbies. Um, mm -hmm. it, it, the main reason being, Chris, and a lot of people are kind of shocked by this, but I use a CPAP machine. Yeah. And so that's a perfect spot for it. I can put it right in there. The hoses can come through. Yeah. Because a lot of times, you know, in, in the RVs, like the hoses just get, they get crammed. They don't have like a good angle over to the bed. They right. get, you know, underneath my pillow. Something like that, though, it's just nice and direct and it's easy and. Man, that's a great point. Yeah. It's absolutely great point. So this, the DS320 starts at $32,995, as low as $7.90 a day. With the strut-supported door here for my outdoor kitchen, mm -hmm. LP Quick Connect, the Power Pack, the Easy Camp Package, which has the black tank flush, the LP Quick Connect, as well as the outside shower and the extra large grab handles. I mean, just a bang for your oh, buck, right man. I, I can't say it enough. Bang for your buck. Sorry about that. No, you're good. You're good. No, the other thing I really oh. like is... is is this right here? This is Daddy's. Yeah. This is, yeah. Oh, I mean, what do you what do you think you, you got in there? Uh, let's 24? see. Twenty four. I got uh, eighteen McAllen. Uh oh. I got some wow. Jack. Okay. I actually know the eighteen McAllen would be hidden somewhere. Mm. Uh, cause Smart I know, man. Yeah, because I know Kevin. He'll steal it. <laughs> just um, like your Girl Scout cookies. Just like my Girl Scout yes, cookies. Sir. Yeah. He's uh -huh. lucky he didn't get Ric Flair over them Girl Scout cookies. <laughs> Woo! But I got the Jack. I got the bourbon, <laughs> so I can have my three finger pour uh -huh. <laughs> going on. Uh huh. <laughs> I get that. 110 amplets uh, outside as well, which are GFCI. Very nice to have. Got multiple plugs in there. Just entertaining and hanging out and reconnecting with the family. They, yeah. they, they want you to understand for 2021, it's going to be the year of RV travel. Mm -hmm. And why not give you upgraded features, bang for your buck, and take advantage of the fact that everybody is beginning to catch the bug oh, for camping. Absolutely. So Heartland, you know, tip of the hat for jumping on that train. Oh yeah, no, I I agree wholeheartedly, wholeheartedly with you, buddy. All right, let's see hey, if this will stay. Look at that. Oh, would you just look at just it? Just look at it. Got a cooktop. I, I like the the backsplash they put in there too, right? It's yeah. a lot. It's a, a lot more modern. Um, we were actually thinking about doing that 
uh, at my house currently. We yeah. have like an older older tile. Yeah. My wife was talking about like just like paint and kind of like a stencil on each one. It'd be something very similar to that. Oh, dude, that'd be beautiful. Yeah, yeah. But I, I think this, this makes me think Southwest. This, this yes. makes me think. I get you know, that. This is very Mesa to me. Mm -hmm. It just looks nice. Sink, once again, got my hot point from my three finger, my bourbon, my outdoor <laughs> bourbon. How can you not have an outdoor bourbon without an outdoor fridge? <laughs> You, you, I, I don't know. You're just right. You can't. You can't. <laughs> who could answer who, such a speculative who? question? <laughs> <laughs> wide yeah. tracks on these, man. Yes. Yeah, uh, the, the wide track suspension is great. Um, you know, definitely help that towability, help reduce a lot of the sway going down yeah. the road. Mm -hmm. Aluminum tires, too. You're beginning, or aluminum wheels, you begin to see a lot of that nitro filled. Yeah. Uh, heated and closed underbelly, like you mentioned before. Another great feature for when you're going down the road, those rocks, that debris, but also if you go cold weather, yeah. tanks won't freeze, hopefully. What do you what do you think about nitro fill? Do you, I mean, do you believe do you believe the hype? I, here's my here's my take, right? Right. Just because I've I've had people ask me about it before. If in a race car, it makes sure. perfect sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. Um, in your vehicle, sure. But here's the thing about nitro. Yes, it is true that it's not going to leak out as easy. It right. will maintain a little bit longer. But everyone I've talked to, they just fill it up with air after they need to yeah. refill the tires, right? Yeah. They generally don't, you know, and, and then. Uh, it doesn't really matter at that point. <laughs> so, uh, to that point, uh, uh -huh. you know, I, I bought that truck last October. Yeah. You know, beautiful and truck, by the th way. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I love that thing. It had the nitro filled tires. Mm -hmm. Now, it's the, you know, the G rated, you know, blah, blah, blah. Sure. Same thing. When one of them went low, I just air. <laughs> so, it, it was nice. You know, the dealer was like, hey, man, he's got nitro tires. I was like, hey, man, I need a hairpiece. I mean, what? <laughs> I need a hairpiece. What? what? You know, what, what point are you trying to make? I'm buying the truck for the truck. Sure, it's nice that it has the nitro fill. It's right. going to give me some more wear and tear. The, yes. the wheels aren't going to go down. The tires aren't going to go down as much. Uh -huh. So I dig it. I get it. But am I going to refill them with nitro? Probably not. No. Probably not. Where the heck am I going to get nitro? I, I, I don't know. Car dealer, maybe? A uh, 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 shop? I, uh, yeah, some, somebody who's super Go to, go to the drag strip? Yeah, I was going to say the drag strip. Race the motorhomes? <laughs> That's a thing. Just That's saying. a beautiful thing. Just saying. So here we are inside this beautiful M26, another mm -hmm. great rear bath with bunk model. Dude, yes, this, is, this is a beauty. Yeah, no, it absolutely is. Um, and it, so this is actually one of the most common selling floor plans in the industry, right? What you mm -hmm. have, you have a super slide with the dinette and the sofa, and this one happens to be a trifolds for some additional sleeping. And then in the back, well, you have the bathroom, this beautiful barn door, mm -hmm. but more importantly, you get the double over double bunks. And, oh, and this it. right here is what people just absolutely fall in love with, right? You get the space, the big bunks, so that, you know, if your kid's a little bit older, you want to put two kids through a bunk, you can do that. Yeah. 200 pounds on the top, 300 on the bottom. Oh, that's Good beautiful. storage underneath here, too. You get two adults down there. Oh, yeah. yeah oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, and maybe not, you know, when you start. Getting people like me. That are oh, little, I couldn't get two of me. Uh, yeah, uh -uh. Uh, yeah, two. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I had had a doctor's appointment this week and got weighed, and I was like, your, your, your scale lies, man. <laughs> your scale lies. You're wrong. Yeah, I was like, you're, you're wrong. Just wrong. You're right. He's like, Chris, you need to cut back. You need to cut back. Telling me what to do. <laughs> go to school for twelve years to tell me to stop eating cheeseburgers. <laughs> I love my cheeseburgers. I love my cheeseburgers and cheese steaks. <laughs> Once again, the Master Chef Kitchen. Yes, sir. Doodle station on the fridge. Mm -hmm. Love the flush mounted microwave and three burner cooktop, as well as the sink top covers. Love right. it. Yep, double bowl sink. Got the split, the 60 40. Love it. I, I like the entertainment center in this one too, Chris, because mm -hmm. that actually, you know, you can actually flip that around, right? So yeah. you can watch it in the bedroom as well. Yeah, got the little lock right there that comes out. Flip it around if the doors are, are open. Yep. King size bed once again. Um, and, and you know, the, the great thing. During the Ultimate RV Show National Tour, we get to give you some of the highlights mm -hmm. of you know some of these great uh, RVs, um, but we won't get a chance to give you all of the features inside of these RVs. Mm. That's why we have you know over 170 locations, mm -hmm. some of the best people in the industry standing yes. by to help you find the one that's right for you. And to get a hold of them, all you got to do is just drop us a comment down below, fresh or text fresh to four six six four two. Now, Ian and I would love to help answer all the questions for you, but but unfortunately, absolutely, you know, and, and unfortunately, we just we can't. Yeah, no, you know, we we I agree with you, Chris. Uh, you know, I wish that I could answer everything. Unfortunately, there is just just don't have the time. Yeah. Right. And uh, the cool thing about it though is that we have the resources in place, and, right. and so when someone does text fresh. That you know allows one of the specialists to reach out and do kind of what we're doing right now, right. but a lot more customized, a lot more personalized. Mm -hmm. You know, because they can actually walk through the RV, they can do a live video, 
with just that person. Yeah. And, uh, you know, just start asking questions and, and get those yeah. questions answered so we can help them find the, the perfect RV. Plus, at the end of the day, mm -hmm. the suits don't want us giving you prices. Yes. They yes, don't. That's right. They, they would go buck wild uh -huh. and, and probably come at us like a spider monkey. That's probably all, true. If all of a sudden we start giving you prices. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, trust me, you would love it. They wouldn't. Um, but with over 80,000 factory fresh RVs coming, over 20,000 already on the lot, over 170 locations, mm -hmm. good Sam, a service network like you're not going to believe. Plus, we are a network of family dealers that were built to help you. The Ultimate RV Show National Tour has been all about just showing you how you could find the RV that's right for you. So drop us a comment down below, fresh or text fresh to 46642. For my boy Ian, this has been the Heartland Mallard Pioneer Face Off. Boom. We'll see you later. Heartland has RVs to help everyone launch their life's journeys. All new designs and floor plans provide choices for every type of camper. Whether you're a solo RVer, a family, a retiree, or something in between, come find your perfect model. Because buying a Heartland should feel like you're joining our family. So let's hit the road and enjoy life's great adventures together. Ultimate RV Show National Tour. What's up? It's Chris Young here with my friends, us, the Remingtons, Tiff and Caleb. You know, all <laughs> Ultimate RV Show National Tour long, we've been trying to help people understand more about Good Sound. We, we've talked about roadside. We've talked about ESP. We've talked about, you know, the Protect, Travel, Connect, the whole nine. Uh, over two million members. That's two right. million. That's they, so crazy. They know. You guys know we how know. important it is. But our true three pillars of the Be Good, Do Good for Good Sam, started in 1966. I didn't That's know crazy. this. Yeah, it, yeah. Was, it was founded on the Good Samaritan mindset. Be good, do good. Uh, you know, really try to impact positively everybody that you come across. I love how it's carried through generations as well. Yeah. And it totally shows like how much even just how Good Sam is morphed. There's so much. We actually have a hard time describing Good Sam because yeah. there's literally yeah. so many different arms and pillars to it, which yeah. is amazing. It, it has really become this, this, this huge thing that mm -hmm. once you buy your RV, the Good Sam life takes place. Yeah, totally. That's when it really starts kicking in. Absolutely. And we are the largest community in the world for RVs. Yeah, I mean, two million, two over million two people. million. That's so incredible. Yeah. And we've like, even just through this whole trip from east to west, have used Good Sam in so many different ways. Whether if it was starting in the retail, we'll thank Sean Parr for that with great influence. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Getting our 10% discount. Getting our 10% right. discount. We got clothes. We got like all of our, you know, stuff that we needed mm -hmm. for to hook up the RV. Also right. just inside, like our kitchenware and all all of that stuff so yeah we leverage the uh the good sam exclusive deals by using the dump the privileges sorry that's the word oh sure yeah, 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 yeah privileges yeah. So, so going to the different campsites and, mm -hmm. and dumping while we're on the road yeah yeah it's great you get up. discounts on you know retail items fuel, fuel. fuel propane going to different campgrounds too yep. we stayed at probably a handful of um, Good Sam Campgrounds. We get 10% off on that And we as well. love, love the website. And love, while we're planning out our next trip, just mm -hmm. throw in the city you're going to, and yeah. boom, you'll see the trip a whole planner. list of, uh, yeah, Good Sam sites available in that area. You know, that's and, and is, there are so many things that, that, that it can get mind-boggling. If you do not have the Good Sam membership, there's really three pillars that it's built on. Protect, travel, and connect. With Protect, we got roadside, we got ESP. Mm -hmm. We got tire and wheel, which I know you guys yep. have, have had a chance to use. Yep. We got insurance, some mm -hmm. of the best insurance on the planet. And yeah. if you think about it, if you get in your RV, why not get your in RV insurance from the company that is giving you the RV? Absolutely. Just kind of makes sense. Yeah. Peace Plus of travel mind assist. for everything as mm -hmm. well. Like the uh, being able to have the comfort to knowing that if something were to go wrong on the road or anything like that, we right. have someone to rely on. Yeah. Um, I mean, and you that get, will be there for us. Yeah. That, that roadside, which also extends to your vehicles, mm -hmm. also extends to your immediate which family and their vehicles. Every yeah. single time you say that, I'm like, huh. Yeah. Oh yeah. It we, does. yeah we, we used it when Ryan locked the keys in the car. We had, <laughs> in the Target oh, parking lot, we had to call Good Sam. Right. Twenty minutes later, I was back in the car. Yeah, I mean, it was I a beautiful it. thing. I then you it. have the travel portion of mm -hmm. Good Sam, which over twenty one hundred parks. 
That's U.S. and Canada. So many. It's I know. true. That will that will keep you busy for a whole lifetime. Yeah, and and when there's a good Sam stamp on these these spots, mm -hmm. they're good quality. They have great amenities. They're clean. They're safe. They're they're lovely. So I love that you Sam. can rate their bathrooms too. It's okay. really fun. <laughs> No, honestly, it's I true. look on it and I'm like, okay, I do want to go to a place where there's a good community bathroom. Because yeah. sometimes, yeah. honestly, we would like a little bit of a longer shower, that's a right. longer hot shower. That's well, right. And that's you part of me? the yeah, that, that's part of the be good, do good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why not communicate to that community of over two million members that hey, here's some good spots, here's some not good spots, but also lets the parks know, hey, the members have spoken. What can you do about it? Yep. A lot of times they totally. they go in and fix it. Yep. Then we have, of course, the connect, which is the membership. Uh, and membership has its benefits. We talk about the retail discounts, mm -hmm. the community. Uh, there's also a great blog, plus the Good Sam website and all the Good Sam social medias. If you have not had a chance to follow those, just go to GoodSam.com. And with every RV purchase, this is the best part I think of people don't understand. Ooh. With so many people coming into 2021 yeah, totally. being the year of RV travel, 80,000 factory fresh units coming. <laughs> people are buying up those RVs, new or used. You get three years free Good Sam membership, what? one year of the roadside, and one side of the travel assist. I love it. And to find out more, all you got to do is go to GoodSam.com. Tiff, you and I got to go check out a unit. Ultimate Let's RV Show go. National Tour is coming back. Hang on. Sooner or later, everyone's bound to encounter someone in need. A fellow traveler who could use a helping hand. The question always is whether you stop to help or just move on. Thanks for stopping. Thanks, guys. Bye. If you're one of the stopping kind, chances are it was passed down. Some good that you observed from early on. Hey, Mom. It's a way of thinking that our world goes beyond where our driveway ends, that we're all a part of this community, a good community. It's having your daily plans, yes, but with an eye open, an ear to the ground. More importantly, a willingness to change those plans when someone needs your help. going the extra mile or paying it forward. We just call it being good. Spend a lifetime doing good because the next generation is watching. Sean Parr with Bryce Jurgi and uh, boy, you hustled to get back over here. You got the family out on tour with you. It's been such an unbelievable 10 weeks. We have been across this great nation of ours talking yeah. about the greatness and what our being is all about. It's spring now right around the corner. We're getting set. And of course, summer's going to be here before you know, it. this is the perfect time to mm -hmm. get into an RV. And these prices are unbelievable. Let me say that again. They're unbeatable, <laughs> aren't they? They are. That is accurate. And it's even with us living this lifestyle for a few years, every time we're here, it's like, oh, man, look at that one. Like, I don't know how you can't see yourself experiencing these adventures in it. There are just so many options, so, so many things. I hope from this show so far, those of you that have been watching, you know which one you want. And if you don't, you'll know. Just keep watching a little bit more ask around, talk, get in the community, and you'll know which one works for you. Yeah, and it's hard not to get attached to the Jurgies and, and <laughs> us, the Remingtons, and Rachel Likewise. in the truck and our incredible cameramen and, and everybody behind like the scenes family. working so hard. This is a big family here at Camping World, and you are a part of that. Wow, get the whole emotional right now. <laughs> we do the customer choice every week. You see how emotional I am about this? <laughs> And we put four vehicles up mm -hmm. on our socials, and then you decide which one you want to see inside and out. And what they choose today? 
They chose, well, it's, I was going to point right here. It, it, the rig's right there. They're going to be touring through it. Alpine, it is gorgeous. A gorgeous fifth wheel Alpine. As a matter of fact, Chris Young has stolen Tiffany, and they've jumped inside this beautiful vehicle. We've all been in it for the last several hours. Take a look at what you decided you wanted to see. It's our customer choice. Chris, take it away. So, Sean, uh, yeah, Caleb, thank you guys. Uh, whatever it is, Chris Young, I, I was supposed to have Tiffany in here with me with this beautiful 2021 Keystone Alpine 3712 KB, but uh, somebody might need to tell Caleb I lost his wife again. Uh, it's, uh, it, th this is a beautiful unit. If you're a family that needs to sleep six people and you want to do it in comfort and luxury, this Keystone Alpine is yours. I want to start right here in the kitchen by showing you this walk-in butler pantry that has the barn-style doors. Take a look at how beautiful this is. Oh, for, for crying out loud. Tell <laughs> so, I mean, you look. Know, I'm going alive right now. I thought you were going to cover for me. I, mean, I thought look, you were going to cover for me. Look, I'm going alive. I, I know you're up. a vessel of life, okay, but I didn't know okay. you're going to be hiding in the butler pantry eating, eating Nelly's mango well, strips. Well, I mean. Really? First of all, do you see what I'm sitting in? It's not a bedroom. No, but it's, it's big enough to be. I've not, I haven't <laughs> seen a walk-in pantry before. This is incredible. I'll put all of my mangoes up here. Right. I'll pull it out. Like, look how spacious this is. It's incredible. Yeah, with this being a full profile fifth wheel, you get the oh, you, you get that amenity of having those those large shelves. Plus, with the light up there, you get the backlit behind that frosted glass inlay, which just makes it beautiful. You can backlight right here. How do you? Yeah, like I know. This, it huh? actually looks good on you. <laughs> it was very angelic the way you looked oh, when I opened you, the door. Thank you. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. No, I am. Thought I was being I called absolutely home. obsessed with this. You can put all of your different snacks, spices, mm -hmm. um, and also feel like you're putting away all of the clutter that I'm not going to lie that I normally keep out. Right. Um, so it's really, really accessible, lovely, so much space. Mm -hmm. I mean, space for days. And what's underneath here? I'm sorry, I cut you off before you were going to say something. Well, and, and you know, that's th this is what I like about this unit. Well, with, with the Alpine tab. line in general, Keystone says, you know, luxury isn't an option, it's standard. Oh, and that to me, that mm -hmm. really speaks volume for what the, the Alpines are. Having something look like at, that walk-in pantry. And these, like, farmhouse doors. Look yeah. how Isn't beautiful cool? this is. And I know it latches back here, too. I don't know if you can get that, Kev, but... Um, oh, yeah, there's little so, clasps yep, in there to so, hold it in place. Mm -hmm. Well, boom. It's magnetic, it's too, when you want to close it. You know, it's the gorgeous. magnets there will hold it. I can talk about this for days. And speaking of gorgeous, oh, yes. look at this beautiful kitchen, which I is where it. I wanted to start in this, because this is a front living fifth wheel. Yeah. But Which to me, my where, where do we spend most of the time? I mean, hello. Inside the, the kitchen. Inside the kitchen, yeah. eating, entertaining. This is, wow, this is heavy duty. Yeah, this is part of that solid surface countertop. And, uh, you know, like my boy Ian always says, you can use these covers as cutting boards. Just cut yeah. on the back, not the top. Oh, but yep. a 70-30 full bowl undermounted stainless steel sink here in the island kitchen with the sprayer nozzle. Just, I mean, just beautiful. I love, love, love having, I feel like this is a bigger sink than even like the farmhouse sinks that it I is. see sometimes. Yeah, yeah, it is. This is a full pot and pan sink. I mean, you could brine and, a turkey in this bad yeah, boy. I, I mean, come on. I've done three Thanksgivings in right. an RV so far. Okay. Amazing. Yes. Yeah, and I definitely wish I could had this real estate during that time. Right. But, Don't you wish you also had this right here? Oh, the slide my gosh, out. The slide out trash can. People think, like, I'm telling you, this is the gold mine of it all. It's yes. always, we never know where to put our trash. We're like, here, there. Yep. Having a, dedicate, having a dedicated space makes all the difference in the mm -hmm. world. Then we continue that beautiful solid surface countertop right over Gorgeous. here to the grill style burners. I love these because they're all high output, including yep. the middle one. Mm -hmm. and, and then when I'm ready to bake that turkey and them shrinky dinks. Wait, this is a really big oven. Yeah. 
I was th I was thinking this you were maybe hiding oven. in either the bowl or the oven. I know, I know <laughs> you know, one. I was really gonna try myself in there, but I I, I wanted to make sure that you would find me. You right. know. We'll just take out the rack, frosted glass over here. Look, look at this. Look how beautiful this is. I love this wood color too. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's this is the Stanton decor. Stanton. Yes, yeah, Stanton. It Sounds, it, you have to say it that way too. The Stanton. Yeah, you do. Because if you got a butler like pantry, your butler's probably gonna be named Stanton. So. Stanton. I kind of like Stanton that name. I might cool. have. I'm, that might be. Yes. I'm going to put that on the baby right? list of names. Stanton, old boy, <laughs> would you please cut on Stanton, the fireplace? Stat, come here, stat. My you know? nose is a little chilly. <laughs> I love it. No, this is gorgeous. The, the the white against this like kind of light, you know, mm -hmm. wood color, and also the backsplash, which is a solid backsplash. Oh, that's see, actual. Yeah. This literally fools me every time. It's so awesome. They don't skip on the details on Keystone, especially with the Alpines, and you'll notice like right here with the hideaway hinges, yep. any manufacturer that is going to go to the effort and cost of yes. putting in a hideaway hinge this is very true. means you got good construction. Yeah. And again, Just very one of the roomy. small signs. I love, and I will always say every single time in these kind of um, cupboards, that they're not so deep where you can't get to the back of it. And right. also, you know, Well, I mean, they were thinking storage. about you. Yeah. There's because you know Chris is up here. Stanton, Le little please. Tim is there, yeah. Stanton, Stanton could, could you please grab the cheddar uh. biscuits from the back of the cabinet, please? <laughs> That's so sweet that they were thinking of me. This moisture okay, is see. murder on my hair, Stanton. All right, can you help let's me? see. Let's see if we. Oh, how about an 18 off? cubic foot fridge freezer combo right now? Yeah, let me Look come right it. around yeah. you. Kev, get going in there. How Wait, many huge cans of my favorite adult beverage could I fit in there? Um, calculation. Da, 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 Precisely 83. Yeah. Yeah. How'd you know? I think that was good. That's and if beautiful. you put some, you know, in the freezer and don't forget about them later, right. you know, you can always fit a few more. So this one, 41 feet, six inches long, sleep six, weighs in at just under 14,000 pounds dry. And since it was picked by the customers, which, you know, we're out here in Mesa, Arizona, it is a beautiful area. They picked a beautiful coach. We're going to start this one at $76,995, or as low as $15.40 yes. a day. It's so good. Less than $16 a day to stay in your home where you want to put it with something like solid service countertops, coffee station over there, tons of storage, butler pantry, 18 cubic foot fridge freezer combo, and the magical, where am I going to put the, the good Girl Scout cookie so Kev can't get them? Where it, no. <gasps> Shut up. How about a strut supported table? What? And a pull out too? You need to extend it, give you a little more space. Look this at is it. why this is what we need being an Asian American, you know? We Look always need that real estate. We Korean barbecue, which we still have not yes, Korean we haven't barbecued done that. yet. I want those Korean barbecue wings so bad. I got you, know, you. I got you. We I would go into a food coma if I ate one of those. <laughs> and eating it right here would be great. Well, that's it. We got to extend another 10 weeks of the Ultimate RV Show because we got to get the Korean barbecue in yes. 10 different ways. Yes. Plus, I want to go to like some smaller markets like mm. South Boston, Virginia. Oh, yeah. And uh, put Paducah. Paducah. And uh, you need to teach me some I don't of those. Know. I'm making it up as we go. <laughs> we have six foot ten clearance here in the slides too, which is very nice to have. I love this like kind of farmhouse wood. looking yeah, light look the, too, the, like the, pictures. The uh, LED sconces. It's gorgeous. Residential, beautiful, and solid wood. On the sconces oh. right there. How cool is that? See, I can't reach it. Like, oh, <laughs> there you go. There you go. There you oh, go. No, I didn't. Are you, you on go. your tippy toes? I'm on my tippy toes. <laughs> Y'all can't see, but I'm on my tippy toes to reach I love that it. one. I love it. Now with this being a front living. Uh, this is wheel. my favorite part. The, the other thing, too, if you notice here, there's mm -hmm. no carpet in the slide. Ooh. But they, they continued Wait. that linoleum flooring. Yeah, it matches Whoa. the floor. So it looks like it just continues on. This is sleek. Gives you more space. Oh, this is my favorite part. And I that love is the... front house living. There's just, it just feels like a homey b it feels very enter like you're entertaining. Yeah. C it holds just so many more peeps where we love to host we yeah. love to have people over i mean COVID times have kind of changed that a little bit but you know yeah soon 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 well, um but this is great that's what's great about the, the good team community too. yeah this is that leatherette this is the thomas leatherette Payne. leatherette stanton. stanton stanton how dare you bring me the leatherette where's <laughs> the, my smoking jacket wait, and my reading glasses get, wait no seriously this is i'm soft here in my alpine 3712 kb stanton <laughs> Trifold sleeper sofas on both sides. Okay, both sides. I love this. And I see these are recliners yep. as well, which yep. is so With the nice. the heat and the massage. What? Yes, the heat, heat massage, the massage. USB charger. Yeah. Dude, mm -hmm. those things are awesome. 
right over here in the front. Now you can't see it because the the, uh, the TV the TV is fully extended, <gasps> but there is a privacy window on the other side. There Kev, is. I don't know if maybe you could but get this, behind the there. The TV goes down. It's a peekaboo it TV, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're we're Let's running see. on a battery pack, so I don't know if we'll be able to. Oh. Probably going to juice dun, dun, the battery pack out. This really, and truly you know, feels that. like Look Wheel of it. Fortune. Yes. Dun, dun, dun. Oh. A large 50-inch TV that pops up out of the console here. you got the privacy window with its own curtain. So mm -hmm. this is where I, I love being able to pull up and see either the sunrise or the sunset, having a cup of coffee or just yep. reconnecting. Yeah. Maybe the kids are here on the floor laying out, enjoying a sleepover. you got a 5,000 BTU furnace or excuse me 5000 b2 fireplace right there with the multi flame the backlight yeah, and that backsplash and backsplash is awesome this matte hexagon like backsplash is so yummy right it's so yummy. delicious i love it <laughs> <laughs> is that <laughs> see yeah. you hit me with the korean barbecue you were eating mango strips and now you're talking hey, about well, yummy we're getting close <laughs> we're getting close to dinner time you're sister killing me, is hungry <laughs> you're killing but me. no i love okay this is the entertainment system the speakers yeah, this is in. literally straight entertainment style well, you got all of these little these cabinets are so awesome. as well because if you notice, the speakers are like built all the way throughout, including a subwoofer right Ooh. here. And this has your DVD player. This has your Bluetooth, your HDMI. You can control it from your cell phone. Okay. And it's also dual zone. So if you want to play the speakers inside or out, you got the option to doing it right there. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah. I love it. Tons of storage. Tons and tons and tons of storage. Like, I don't even know what I would put in any of these. I mean, you got enough space to put Caleb. I know. <laughs> so really, I mean, if you want me to. <laughs> or, the ki or the kid soon, <laughs> Look, right? I mean, you know. Time he out. He, Back he's on a, the cupboard. He's a young, skinny man. Just fold him <laughs> up and stuff him in a cabinet and move on. Man, That's okay, see, now I, now I can reach the valences. They are real world. It's really it's yeah. really sleek and beautiful. Stanton, I'm telling you, Stanton. And we take a look. Look, you got the filters and so the good. vents here. Now, this one will, will have the Whisper Ooh, Quiet 15K BTU air conditioners, 35,000 BTU furnace. And with the construction and the insulation that they have here, this is rated from zero to 110 degrees. Whoa. So you can really extend that camping so season. Arizona. This is yeah. for this is for the zonies. Yeah. If you want to keep the uh, go go see a Sun Devils game, go see a Wildcats game. I love it. Go see a San Diego game. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. It's, oh. I was gonna say football <laughs> game, but oh. <laughs> Oh, I know oh, there's so here? many fans now angry at me, and I'm sorry. Wow, this is really nice, too. They literally utilized every inch and centimeter yeah. and millimeter and and the way, so uh, of this whole entire rig. I mean... Yeah, the great thing about it, too, is you can use that as either ward space. You yeah. can use it as pantry space because you yeah. got the hangers there if you need it for ward space. But with it, when it's your RV, people get me on this all the time. I'll say, oh, take a look at all these kitchen drawers. Look how much space we have here. If, if I'm going to fishing... If I'm going to go hunting or whatever, I'm going to put some of my materials right here. I mm -hmm. might put my grab-and-go bag under the, the kitchen pantry. Yep. That's not what it's there for. <laughs> That's for where we put the dishes and the food. That's where you put the cleaning. You, you know what? Chris, how long have you known me? And you can already do an impression of me. <laughs> I, I don't know. That's you, no, That's but it is you. me. That's I hear myself. That, me. that is me. It's okay. It's all and right. And I'm like, we... if I'm paying for this RV, <laughs> and I want to put my Girl Scout cookies right there, I want to put my Wildcat jersey right there, my Sun Devils jersey right there, and I, I, you ain't paying for it. <laughs> I'm paying for it. And Kev can yell all he wants. Kev. With, with, with his Georgia Bulldog shirt on. He can <laughs> yell <laughs> all he wants. <laughs> it's my RV. I'm going to put it where I want to put Kev's it. Kev's going to have his own jersey in there. You just wait and see. You know that, right? The amazing legless dinette. Did you notice that when we were, no. when we were sitting down there? Wait. Legless. This is this is what we do. We play, what is it, the cute footsie game? Play footsie. Oh. Um, well, see, but yeah, but I'm 1,900 pounds heavier than you, and my legs are about <laughs> seven feet longer than yours. No, I love that. That's actually really, really nice because... You don't bump into things. No, you don't. Yeah. It's mounted to the wall. You still have the strut-supported storage underneath, the hideaway storage. I still I really can't like believe this feature. comes up. This is so beautiful. Yeah. And then when you're ready to... You don't need you the full You can put all leaf. of the extra, like, you know, well, when we host, we like to do little fancy placemats and all of that stuff, so it's yeah, wonderful to have this in here. Plus strut support. It matches so the decor. So many things. Now so wait many until things. you see this bathroom. I, look, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and prep you now. You saw the walk-in pantry right here. I can only imagine what that's going to look like from the walk-in pantry to the front living to this cool table. 
I want I want you to go ahead and get in the shower first before we even do the bedroom. Should I like kind of blindfold myself or should I just? Like, I mean, I don't want you to trip fall and bust I mean, your noggin going I, up the I, stairs. I'll, I'll 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 do my best, but I I don't want to ruin the surprise. And once again, this is the 2021 Keystone Alpine 3712KB, starting at 76.995 or as low as fifteen dollars and forty cents a day. Deals to four six six four two. Drop me a comment down below. Oh, but Deals. This is unique. To get your hands on this one now. Oh, just oh. walk in that bad boy. Wait, what? First of all, that latch? Yeah. Did you see that latch? That yeah. was... The little Wait. secure hook? One, two, three. What? It, this, this is, is a, a hot full... Tub. This is... That is a 48 by 48. <laughs> Can you see <laughs> how huge this is? Spa-style shower. That is a two-person shower. Check this, this out. Uh, Hang on. Amazing. Look at this. And we got the shower fall, the rainfall... Well, look at this shower head. Oh, that's that is really nice. I could just, <laughs> just that's exactly how you go. shower. This is this is what Wait, I do. Do you know what I was thinking of? And this is the m mama kicking in me because me. I was thinking, OK, as soon as we have the baby, where uh -huh. are we going to give it like baths? You can right. do it in the sink. That's naturally where my head goes. Right. But now there's like these fold out little tubs that you can have yeah. easily, easily fit, fit in there. In here. Two you know, in here. You know what else you could do? What are you going to do? You could hold the baby up like Simba from The Lion King. <laughs> that Caleb and just does do it that. right there. Caleb, ah, that's, second, yeah. that's, how Ka that's what Caleb does with Oso, and it's hysterical when I catch them in the shower because they're both like this. Oh, that's beautiful. Yep. You, need, you need to put that on the blog. I mean, but I so do, much space in here. Wow. High-rise porcelain bowl and double vanity sinks. A Jack and Jill? Stop. Do you want to know why this is so important to us? Tell me. Well, just like I'm sure you know, my husband likes to shave. My husband right. also likes to spit toothpaste everywhere and oh. also likes to, um, I don't know what else he does in the bathroom. Sometimes I, I go in and I'm like. That sounds nasty. Well, that's why that's, I'll, I'll keep it in his sink. Right, right. And then my sink will just be, you know. How well, it's supposed to be. <laughs> if you notice, we got those solid surface countertops here, too, with the bathroom sinks undermounted. So you don't have that ring, yep. that seal on top that gets dirty. Whenever you need to clean, you just sweep everything this in. This is so nice. Double medicine wow, cabinets. Wow, there's so much storage. Wait, and, and here. Washer dryer prep in there as well. I was just well. going to ask, is there washer dryer hookups? Yes, there is. How beautiful Woo! does that smell? Look at that. That is absolutely gorgeous. They literally gorgeous. thought of everything. You guys, <laughs> you picked this? You picked this. You picked this. So tip of the hat. If I was wearing a hat, I'd tip it to you right now. Congratulations on picking this beautiful 2021 Keystone Alpine 3712KBs. We're going to start it for you at 76995 It's incredible. For a Keystone fifth wheel. That is 13,955 pounds, 41 feet, 6 inches long, can sleep 6 people. We're going to start it. This feels longer than 41 feet. Right? Was well, probably because of this king size bed and this beautiful. Ooh. Look at this. Look at that nailed in headboard that's okay, padded. Here we go. Oh, the, that's your uh, sleeping spot right here. there. Oh. Mama oh. needs to take her nap. Oh. oh. Yes. Oh, you found yes. me in the pantry. You're going to leave me right here. Go ahead. Take your nap. Wait, this is so good. How this nice is, is so that? nice. King size bed in king its own size. slide, which, which does give you some Wait. more space, gives you some walk around room Ooh, here. This is like. What? You what got the you double armoires over here, too. Yes, Stanton has an armoire. Stanton. Stanton. Stanton, bring Stanton, me my stop biscuits teasing and tea. Me. Um, and there's a TV. Yes. Hey. On the swivel. With got the also beautiful, the windows. Yeah, the wood, wood balance over the windows there. The little chest of drawers. What would you even call this? Yeah, I would call it like a little dresser. Well, Did you call it Chester? I call it a chest of drawers. Oh, because you know I'm from the south. Chest, we don't do things right. Sometimes. A chest of drawers. A chest of drawers. Oh, yeah. I kind of like that. That sounds more Stanton like. Yes. Yeah. Uh, well, Stanton. You know, us Midwesterners, and and I guess just me being lazy, I call it a dresser. Yeah. But you know, a chest of drawers sounds. Chest of drawers. Very much so, more luxurious. All of this starting at seventy six nine ninety five, as well as fifteen dollars and forty cents a what? day. If you say, Chris. We got to have it. Drop me a comment down below. Deals or text deals to 46642. Oh, did I get schmutz on yeah, me? Yeah, no, no, oh, you're good. You. I got you. Gotta Solid steps you. coming on the outside. Now, the other cool thing about this one, mm -hmm. you have 200 cubic feet of heated <gasps> basement storage heated. in this one. Okay, yeah. I keep saying this Look because, this. you know, we have traveled Caleb, in the winter now. Yeah. 
We've hey, traveled look. in the winter now, and the heated floors is so much needed. Speaking I of heated, oh, I think yeah. we could fit us some Caleb's in there. This is, okay. I love oh, this. Here you go. <laughs> yeah, see, look, there right there. See what Get I was right talking in. about? A skinny young man, you can fit in there easily. <laughs> Wait, these are huge. Honey, yeah. what would you put in here? Your snowboards, your surfboard, your golf Everything. clubs, your fishing gear, yeah. your kayak. Oh, we can even put a kayak in here yeah. and your... See, we had to sell our um, stand-up paddleboard because it didn't fit in our in right. our last rig. But this, easily. Beautiful. And then easily. take check out the storage that we have in the back, too. You got another little great compartment right here for whatever you need. <sighs> Part of that 200 cubic feet of storage inside this beautiful. You got the two-inch hitch down there. Oh, there it is. That's beautiful. Na, Set up for na, backup na, na. camera. I am about, let's see, I'm 5'4". Mm-hmm. I can like pretty much lay down. Oh, this easily. is great. Look at that. And now, now that I'm in here, I see that <laughs> the the pipe, the water pipes, and also um, the plumbing runs through under here, which yeah. is so nice because it's not exposed. No. Which means less chances of frozen tanks. And this oh. is where I'm going to leave you. Okay, see you later. Bye. Magnetic anti-slam latches here on these doors to keep Tiff where she needs I'm to be. Hey, all alone. your wife's in the storage. There's no one there. Heated and enclosed me. underbelly with 12 volt pads on the tanks. <laughs> you got those 7,000 pound Dexter Easy Lube axles on the never adjust brakes on this bad boy too. This is a drop frame or better or what they call the Z frame technology, which allows them to put more storage inside this unit. And Tiff, once again. I came back for more FaceTime. <laughs> you came back to get the mangoes. I'm going to tell Nelly you stole her mangoes. <laughs> Starting at $76,995 or as low as $15.40 a day. If you That's say, nothing. Tiff, I got to have it. That's, I mean, think about it. For less than $16 a day. We get breakfast every <laughs> To see the, the Southwest the that. safest way possible in something this beautiful. Yeah, it's gorgeous. 41 feet feels like actually 50-something. Yeah. So much storage space. So much luxury. Love the front living. Great mm -hmm. place to host. Also... There's, I feel like, again, you can sleep more than six people in here. You probably could. Easy. I mean, it's, 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 it, it, it's all up to the person. That's true. Yeah. You know, seven of her, we're, three of me. We're multi-generation in our family, right. so we love to, you know, invite the, invite the, the family and the friends and over. uncles and the grandmas right. and grandpas. Absolutely. If this is one that you think you want to ask more questions about or just get it, Drop us a comment down below, deals or text deals to 46642. Mm -hmm. The Keystone Alpine 3712 KB starting at 76995 or as low as $15.40 a day. Phew. Get yours now with the Ultimate RV Show National Tour. From sunup to sundown, we are designing your next big adventure, building your family vacation, delivering your memories that will last a lifetime. We know it's more than just an RV, which is why we are working around the clock to bring over 80,000 RVs fresh from the factory to our stores, to your driveway or campsite. Built by Americans for Americans and starting at less than $5 per day. Click, call, or visit your local camping world today. Our oldest came to me maybe a, maybe a month or so ago. I mean, he whispers in my ear and he says, you know, Poppy, I, I really want to go to New York and I, and I want to visit Gigi. That's yeah. the stuff that I'm like, okay, my kids are going to know their grandparents. Then you get an opportunity. Yeah. You get to do it. All right, come on kids, let's load up the RV. Give all the bags to daddy. For us, family is everything. Any opportunity that I get to go to Brooklyn, I think of my mom. Yeah. She was a special woman, and um, she loved her hometown, Brooklyn, New York. <laughs> now you excited? Yay, yeah. yeah, let's go! And Gigi, she's, you know, my grandmother, right? But she's everybody's grandma. Instead of flying, we're taking the RV. We can't wait to stop along the way. This is where the Cubs play. And her papi asks mommy to marry him. Life is wonderful. I just love getting out in nature. But life can be this good. I love seeing the kids learning new things. They're not allowed to play with fire, but when we go to campground, you know, they want to get in there, you know, just cooking hot dogs. What do you guys think? There you go, buddy. This is special. 
So one of the coolest things about this adventure is our vacation begins where our driveway ends. You're not stuck to one thing. You can travel at your own pace. Exactly. Hey, listen, we got to stop for food. Let's see, there's the cidery, Lost Point Cider. That? Yeah. I think a lot of folks would get a lot out of an adventure and experience the outdoors. And there's a lot of national pride. For as hard as it is to pack up and get out and go, these moments, when you're making s'mores, when the kids are sleeping and they're safe inside of the camper, to drive through DC and to see the Capitol. This is our culture, this is us. When your four-year-old walks up to you and says, this is the best day ever, you're doing it right. It's just a great feeling to come back home and be with family. Just something not right here. I'm not. I don't have anybody to hug right come now. On, but, come uh, on, come on in. Let's this go. This is let's what go. it's all about. Right here, as we whoa, end up whoa, day whoa, number one. Whoa, 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 whoa! What oh. on the fried chicken on Friday are y'all wearing? We are in Arizona. <laughs> but sun has gone down. It's oh, wait, getting Chris. cooler. We They're talked comfy. about it earlier. Good Sam deals, the retail. <laughs> Sean Parr always, you know, I mean, convinces this us. This is true. We do like sales. You know, all people should know about this sales. Listen, you bought these pants for Personal. me back in, in Houston. Here, yeah, and, here, and, here, the here, here. and the shoes. And the shoes we got on sale. Got, right? Yeah, you're twinning. Come on. <laughs> and these Sherpies are on sale right now. Let me see this. Let me see this luxurious. How does it feel? That is so. Oh, it's a change your mind. Go it's ahead. A, it's Go reversible. Ahead. Go ahead. No, I come know. on. Oh. Okay. Now just feel the outside, Chris. <laughs> it comes with a massager the in it. The bottom line. <laughs> here, here's the bottom line, right? But this is day number one. We're ending yeah. day one. We got a couple of days left for you to get the ultimate deals from these this uh, unbelievable national tour that we have been on. I can't believe it's coming to an end. That means time is running out for you to get deals. And when you come to a camping world, and if you're a member of Good Sam, you're always going to get the best deal yes. on stuff like this. I mean, mm -hmm. this was, we can't believe the sale. I know. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to match forever. <laughs> I know, right? We're all going to match forever. But that's, listen, it's, it's, it's um, bittersweet this week for all of us because we started this journey together 10 weeks ago with this incredible crew. And we're only... Starting it's this okay, weekend, the, I'm gonna get tear, emotional the tears, again. The tears are starting to weld yeah. up. If you see no, it in his beautiful not at all. blue eye, you know why? Because we've got a lot more to give away tomorrow. We that's do, right. we do some good stuff, including a motorhome on Saturday. So oh, that's gonna be nuts. Uh, and <laughs> how do they win? You got to text URVS to four six six four two, or just drop a comment below URVS to be eligible to win that motorhome. Yeah, I want to say this, and I want you to understand what I'm saying here. We see you. We see your comments down below that you text, uh, text in and you write to us every week. We can't thank you enough. And when we say this, this is not just a number. These are people that have taken time. You have taken the time to take us with you from state after state after state. We are almost 17 million strong Woo! and counting, and we can't thank you enough. Two more days to get the deals. Get 
on the line. Talk to somebody. Text RV to 46642. If you want a unit, you see something you want to buy, you got to get it now. Until tomorrow, we'll be right back here. It'll be day number two, and we can't wait to see you again. I'm, I'm Sean Parr. I'm stealing your Sharpie. These are the, <laughs> <just> <laughs> <stealing> <laughs> there goes Chris. These are the Jurgies, us hey, the yo. Remingtons. And on behalf of our entire crew, we can't wait to get right back here tomorrow to give you the best deals possible. See you then.